Hello, everybody. I'm Jarrett Reddick. And this is a podcast. Jarrett goes to the movies. Hopefully you have seen or heard one of my many musical endeavors. And if you have, then you know how much I love movies. This is movie commentary with no movie knowledge. This podcast is me and my friend Rich talking about movies that we like. But my name's on it because I'm famous. This is Jarrett goes to the movies. Still. Okay, we're starting now. Oh, shit. (laughs) Suntan lotion is good for me. You protect me. (laughs) Oh, the sun tries to burn me, but you won't let it. Will ya? Ultraviolet rays, bad. Lotion, good. There's something important I was supposed to do today. Have five daiquiris? Oh, no, you remember to do that. <laughs> Man, why did I have so many drinks I can't remember? What's today? October? <laughs> It's Nudie Magazine Day! Yeah! Hello, everybody. My name is Jarrett. Hey, Jarrett. Hi, Rich. With me, as always, is Rich. Again. With us only tonight, right now, is Silent Sean. Uh, man, what a wacky day it has been. I mean, it has just been... I'm going to start with... First of all, we already did a podcast this week. We've done... Well, actually, we've done three podcasts in, like, the last six days, right? Is that, no, we didn't do one last. Okay, so Sunday was the day. Eight, 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 nine? Eight, I, God damn it, Sean. I don't know. Math is hard. Yeah. Anyway, we did Ant-Man two days ago. Uh, and if you're hearing this, then that was a week ago. But this is a Tuesday, 3rd of July. Uh, and yesterday, I, I had to fast all day. I had to not eat and drink all this fucking like, laxative shit. And How fun was that? Uh, terrible. But here's the thing. I was supposed to have two of these things. It's not that bad. And I, I eat raisin brands with extra raisins too. All right. Now that you're ready, you got your headphones on. And here's the thing. Now we're picking up. After the power just went off again. Where at, did we even leave off? I don't even know where we left off. I'll tell you where we left off. Here's where we left off. We did a good... Wait, wait. Son of a bitch in pants. There you go. I'll tell you where we left off. <laughs> Thank you. We left off... Why don't we just start over? Doing a good podcast. Jesus. I'm just, I'm just Hello. No, no. We can't do that again. I think third time, third time is not the charm. What? You gotta make me click. Yeah, he can't click. Oh, sorry. What's fucked up is we talked about how we come in and we just turn everything on and it works today. So anyway, did a podcast. Yesterday was Monday. I had to fast all day, take this. Uh, so I, I, I'm supposed to take these two laxative things, one at 5 p.m., one at midnight. So I get up in the morning, like super early. I go ahead and I mix those together. I put each one in a little 20-ounce Yeti. With, put it on, put a lid on there, and stick it in the fridge. Because the colder it is, the the better it goes down. Apparently, right? And and you can mix it with Sprite or whatever. But I'm like, fuck it. I, I just I don't, I don't want to make a shitty liquid bigger. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, so it's kind of you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like like if I don't if I'm in prison, I really don't care if he has erectile dysfunction. I don't want to make it bigger. Do you understand what I'm saying here? <laughs> yes. I I want it the way the just as 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 small as I can take, I can get it. <laughs> and uh, so we have dinner. And uh, Casey, you were fasting. They had dinner. They had dinner. Oh. Uh, Casey had gone to the grocery store. I'm doing some other shit. She gets ever his dinner. They they do their thing. And I start to mess with the dishes. And I start emptying out all the Yetis that are in there because we have a shitload of Yetis. Everybody uses one for water or tea or whatever. 
And as I'm pouring one out, I go, holy shit. And I run to the refrigerator and I go, oh, no. And I'm like, you couldn't have known. She's like, what? I'm like, you threw away my other laxative thing. <laughs> and so I, the whole, I'm like, I call the pharmacy. I'm like, do I have to have a prescription for this? Yes, you do. He's like, you could try this other thing, but I don't know. I'm telling you. Raisin bran with Listen extra raisins. Listen to me. This it is works. a fucking serious story. Oh, sorry. Yeah, don't don't fucking try. I couldn't eat <laughs> for the love of God. It goes right through you. No. You're nothing. I don't stays think inside you understand you. what was coming through me. Like if you've never done one of these colonoscopies, like the prep day. Have you ever eaten two bowls of raisin bran with extra raisins? The stuff that comes out of you. If, <laughs> you ever you you change one of your newborn babies? You know how like it's like black tar and shit, like that's w- kind of what was coming out of me yesterday. But like, I'm a man. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm a grown ass man, and I've put on a few pounds. You know what I mean? Like, there's some extra shit in there, right? Yeah, literally. So I, 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 I don't want her to feel bad, and it really wasn't her fault. I mean, it it could have been anything, and I should have told her, hey, that's in there. But I was in the studio literally all day yesterday. Um, and so, uh, I sent the nurse a message. I get the call 730 this morning. She goes, Hey, I got your message. Go up to the thing, go up to the drugstore and get this magnesium solid, solid date or some shit and drink that. So I go up there and I get that. And, uh, by the way, I went to CVS and I had some, uh, CVS bucks. I got this magnesium solicite shit. Yeah. Nine cents. Uh, and uh, it's like a three ninety nine product, guys. Like All right. I, I fucking, I mean, I, I made out like a bandit. <laughs> uh, so I'm triumphantly walking out of there like I just, and, and not, and still trying not to shit my pants. I mean, the laxative from the day before, gotta, you gotta understand, that's still kicking in, right? Right. But this is supposed to put you, well, the thing that I was supposed to drink at midnight was supposed to really put you over the edge. Like, just get it all out of there. Right. So I drink that stuff, and really what I feel like it did was just bloat me, you know? And then, like, so I just sat on the toilet for, like, an hour, and, like, and then, so I'm just... So, I, are we recording? We're recording and fireworks, we're, and we're streaming. It's fucking fireworks. Doing what? Grinding. Being loud as shit. Uh, did not get enough power. No, it just it did go through a spell where it was a little loud, and I just got to blow some dust out of it. I think. Talking to Mike. For the love of God, I don't want to talk about any more gear. So. If, as if this day couldn't get any more wacky. Right now we're doing this. <laughs> the fucking power keeps going off. So, But let me finish my story. So I get to the place to have my colonoscopy, and they're immediately, like, everybody's acting like, I'm not sure this is going to happen today. You know? Like, you may have done all this prep for nothing. Because you couldn't do it right? Because if you didn't do both of the prep things, right. you know, we, you, you're not ready for the, Anyway. Yeah, I get it. But they checked me in, and I got the colonoscopy. And, and so, anyway, so I, you know, I thought, you know what? I've been having them for 25 years because I've got ulcerative colitis. I got diagnosed with that when I was about, about 21. And um, so you, you just, I don't really remember it what being a big deal but of ulcerative of colitis. Yeah, yeah. It's like irritable bowel, but you... You, I don't know what that is. Bleed for, like it's basically what happens is sometimes you get like a where you have to go and then there's blood in there. Uh, you know, but it can be like really re- like where it keeps you at home and shit. Yeah. And mine was really bad when I was young. Like mm-hmm. even in the van days, like we had a whole drill. What causes it? Why? Why is? It, my, why do I not have it and you do? Uh, that that's not a thing. Like oh. you just get it. Like people get cancer. You know. I mean, you just. I know, but you know. okay. Well, I mean, what? That's it. There, there's no further discussion on it. Oh. Like you get fucking liver cancer, or you get your fucking throat. Is it cancer. like a cancer kind of thing? It's, or is yeah, it, okay, it's like just, it's like diverticulitis, it was... or it's like uh, Hodgkin's disease, or like any of that shit you okay, get. Okay, so here. something's going wrong inside. Inside you. Okay, got it. Anyway, so I think to myself, I'm like, you know, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to be able to do this podcast today. I, you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm tired, I'm hungry, but fuck it. I came home, I watched the movie, 
I wasn't supposed to work today. I worked for four hours after that. Got a shitload of stuff done. Bunch of flights booked. Bunch of merch stuff handled. Um, and then you guys got here. Me and you fixed. Uh, well, I fixed the ch- Silent Sean's chair. chair. <laughs> and you, but you watched me. I watched you. Yeah, it was great. And uh, that was fun. And then we get in here. We turn everything on, and everything's working great. Yeah, which is pre-show like, click, goes click, click on now. Side star- sidebar, it's just us three in here because the ladies took the kids to go to the fucking fireworks, which right. are down the street, right? right? Here I'm testing a couple of fireworks off just a minute ago. What happens? Power goes out. <laughs> that doesn't make any it's fucking like sense. like immediately. It makes no sense, right? It's like they hit the power line with the, the fireworks. The computer is not backing up the audio in a way that it's supposed to be, mm-hmm. right? right? So we have to start all over on the audio thing. We get to about the point I was at the first time. And the power goes out, right? <laughs> right. So then we come back and we start doing it again. Here's the here's the thing about this part of the fucking story. When I started telling this story an hour and a half ago, <laughs> this part of the story wasn't even a part of the story. <laughs> That's how fucked up this day has been. So then we we figure out, oh shit, when the power goes off, there's a few lights that are staying on and one monitor. So let's plug everything <laughs> into those three things or whatever. So now you've had three grown ass men looking like monkeys fucking a football in here, <laughs> just like stealing plugs from certain shit and unplugging this and plugging this into here or whatever. Propping up things. If the power goes off again, we will most likely not have video this week. Uh, but you're gonna get your goddamn audio podcast. Now the video is the video is fine. That's gonna keep going. That's that's never had the problem. We just won't be streaming. But we just the stream might go out for a minute. Yeah. Depends on where we didn't connect the router to any of this, so the router will go. We no, the, the stream internet. won't go out. But right. I'm recording at the same time I'm streaming, so I've got all the video. I've got all the antics and, and the, everything. And the As a com- matter of fact, Patreon supporters are gonna love all this. <laughs> <laughs> and the computer is staying on the whole time. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's fucking. I mean, my hair looked amazing when we started this. <laughs> now it just. Now I sort of hope the video goes out. Every time, you know? every, every time Rich is going to cut all these pieces together, your hair is it's gonna just going to be like a, going a different way and shit. So what's funny is, is now uh, we haven't even started the fucking show yet. Like no. I've literally just we've listened to the first clip and I started telling you about my day. That gets us to here. We're probably what 15, 20 minutes in at this point, maybe yeah. 10, right. 10 minutes 10. in, but. We started an hour ago, and the <laughs> girls who were going to be here an hour and a half late are about to be here. Right. You know? So they're going to walk in and be like, where are you guys at? You guys, like, to the point where he's in, like, the ninth grade? <laughs> no, uh, we're at the book where he saves the fucking dog. <laughs> That's where we are right. in Billy Madison. Right. So anyway, Jesus Christ. So now, and now I'm, I'm and I, I leave on Warp Tour. I hope you guys are all coming out to see us on Warp Tour. The, the day this comes out, I'll be in the first day of Warp Tour. I might come to see you. So Richard may come out to, uh, I have to, I didn't realize it was a morning show though. I might, I mean, I have to work Friday, but well, I could skate out early. Well, it's not a morning. So it starts around one mm-hmm. and it goes to about seven. Okay. Uh, why did you shake your head? Oh no, I just, no, I told him completely different. Opinion. Oh, what'd you say? I was like, they usually open up around 10 or 11. Yeah, but the first band's usually about 1, 12 or 1. It, it depends on what city we're in, to okay. be honest. Uh, so you're not going to play at 1. To- okay, so here here's how I explain it. We find out our set time every day between 10.30 and 11. Uh, every band, no matter how popular you are, how dispopular you are, every band plays first and every band plays last at some point. Mm-hmm. It's a it, and it is what it is. And if we're on two and a half weeks, we'll likely get an early spot a couple of times, and we'll get a bunch of late spots. We'll we'll hit that three to four sweet sweet spot a few times. I wouldn't think that we would have a less than stellar spot in our hometown, right? Uh, which is Friday, in Dallas, right? Uh, but you know, I mean, if if I again, I I just don't think that's gonna. I would assume that we would play between four and six. Um, that's perfect. But but. It could be two. It could be seven. You know. Okay. I mean, you just don't know. Now, uh, why does why does Sean look confused? Did the computer freeze up? Uh, the uh, audio stopped. Yeah, the, the drive went fast. Audio stopped. All right. So Drives j- aren't fast enough. Just increase the buffer size. And that just puts a delay on this. I think it's only on two fifty right now. Anyway. Yeah, it should be fine now. Good. Make sure low latency monitoring's on. Okay. 
it only stop if you have to turn it on. Low latency monitoring it is up in the drop down menu. Very bottom of like the fourth one over, I think. Good. All right, so enough about Warp Tour. I, I'm going to be on this motherfucker for two and a half weeks. I'm now. Here's how stressed out I'm right now. I, I'm starting to talk like Cat Williams. <laughs> and I, I mean, this motherfucker gonna be a good tour. You know what? That doesn't sound like anything like him, but I, uh, I think I could actually do a pretty good Cat Williams if you I could worked sound on like it a him, second. Yeah, I think sure. I could do that. Uh, so Rich, uh, happy Fourth of July. I hope I. How is everything with you? In the last two days, pretty good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. We, uh, I feel like, and and this is this is what's great for me now. So, uh, before Rich drew the texting line in the sand and converted only to Facebook Messenger. See, me and Rich used to talk all the time, and then uh, then we did the podcast Arthur, and then <laughs> uh, and then we had the great uh, gun control. Uh, oh no, the great B tattoo scandal of seventeen eighty four. I don't think anyone knows about that. It people know about it. Oh okay. And uh, then you drew the line, and it was Facebook Messenger only. So I just fucking didn't talk to you anymore. <laughs> that was it. I'm out. Right? I'm out. You guys go on fucking rants over shit for whatever. I'm just like, hey, if you need me to know any of the shit, put my name at the bottom, and I'll just tell me what <laughs> summarize it for me. Right. But Rich got kicked off Facebook, and so he's back to texting, and it's great. I feel like we're in touch. Like I'm, we're just yeah, talking. Yeah, it, it does help that the Android. Um... Uh, released a messenger.android.com website that syncs up with your phone so I can do everything on... I can text on the computer now. Right. Like iMessage for right. Apple. Yeah. And which is... I, I do admit... I don't like it as much. Yeah. Facebook Messenger is definitely the best messenger yeah. there is, but... Um, anyway, I'll be back on Messenger by the time you get back. You know, I don't disagree that... Facebook Messenger is great. It's just the amount of people that have access I get it. to yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like for me. I mean, I you don't know. know. You can mute people, right? I know, but I would never. You, who are you I talking know. to? Too, too nice. I would never do that. But I, I, I can't physically. I'm not trying to. I can't answer everybody. There's no fucking way. Right. I, but I, I try. But it's if I answer somebody and they're just like, hey, I mean, if it's simple as like, I like your band or whatever, and I'm like, hey, thank you so very much, you know, whatever, then there's two questions that follow that. So then I've got a backlog. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't mean to be a dick about that, but I do really try. And I think if you've reached out to me, then you will you will tell everybody, like, I'm fucking, I'm nice as shit. <laughs> um, well, anyway, we're here. We're doing... Um, now everybody knows that if they go ahead and just message you, you they'll probably get a response. Yeah, right. <laughs> nice going, Jared. God damn it, straight to hell. <laughs> Well, it's like I uh, when I told my mom that I, I she, my mom used to write me these huge like long long texts, and my sister does this to me now. My sister Lori, who we were talking to the other day on the chat, and uh, but Lori is new, you know. Like I just met my sister like two three months ago, so I, I'll read the whole thing and uh -huh. respond. Now, my mom, I've known her for a long time. You know? <laughs> And so I just tell her, I'm like, if you write me something that I can't read just like at a glance, I'm probably not going to answer you because it's too much. It's just too much. Like, I can't you, I can't answer five questions every time. You know? Should she email you instead? <laughs> no. you know, she knows you don't want her to call you. Well, OK. Yes. But all right. But but anyway, what she did <laughs> to beat the system was, Short little texts. Yeah. But she sends Plus. like each little. So I'll get about 50 of them. Right. You know. So it's like it, and so she's. Is she, that better or worse? Um, it's better because I just sort of feel like I just can pay more attention to like the last couple. It's like a bulleted list. It's easier to read a bulleted it list really than is. a paragraph. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, I got it. absolutely. So yeah, and I, you know, I don't mean to give my mom shit. You know, it's. I mean, I'm just glad that she can, she can text or whatever. Like my grandma's a good texter. Like my grandma would be like, uh, you know, I'll just be like. Hey, Graham, uh, just wishing you a happy Friday. Thanks. End the conversation. <laughs> like, that's the end of that. Like, and we, you know what? It's like, you know what? That felt good. I just wished my grandma a happy Friday. And you she's, didn't get caught up in a she's conversation. She's thankful about it, you know? And we're <laughs> and good to it. go. Yeah, that's it. Um, So we got this uh, sponsorship by Lyft, uh, Bowling for Soup did, and I, I'm in no way... Uh, okay, so you're admitting this? Well, this I'm not trying to... to off. I'm not, like, I'm not trying to tie that into the show but i did want to tell you 
that because of that, like the last couple of car rides I've taken, I've actually chatted with the driver or whatever. <laughs> Because you feel bad. Because I feel bad. Yeah. They're, well, he's your employee or yeah, something. Not really. No? I mean, oh, okay. I don't. We don't get money. We get like ride credit. Oh, okay. But still, it's. I mean, you know, it's. It's a. I mean, Dallas is a freaking sixty dollar trip. By the way, every single time I say I go take an Uber to this or Uber to that, I'm actually taking Lyft. Really? No. So seriously. it's like a. It's like a, I like Lyft better than Uber. So it's like even a, though it's the same fucking drivers, I just like the app better. It's like a Coke. You know, I, like it, down at, and yes. where we live. You go get a Coke, it's but Kleenex. You're, you're gonna get a Sprite. It's the Kleenex of. You're just gonna get some tissues, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's weird. Like, uh, what else is like that? Mm. Kleenex is a good one. Uh, Coke is a good one. We call a lot of stuff just by the brand it is. Yeah, I just can't think of it. Can't right think now. of one either. Yeah. Um. A, a mix something McNugget. You go. You get. You get I'm gonna get chicken nuggets i'm getting them in i'm McNugget. gonna get the mcnuggets from wendy's are you eating mcnuggets yeah. even though they're just like store no, they're bought. just chicken nuggets <laughs> yeah that's yeah. a good one actually yeah. that's really good <clears throat> um yeah anyway so here we are uh later on we'll talk to john gickler and katie morgan we'll do some some stuff pre me breaking a sweat uh we'll do five questions with them and uh that'll be fun uh, i want to remind you guys that this is a matt cardosi and daniel cotton production and uh, we do have new supporters. He's in the uh, chat room right now. Oh, Woody Chambers is? Yep. Woody Chambers is not a new supporter, but he did up his his uh, support from $20 to $50, which means, hey, thank you very much, which means you will hear him soon on his own version of Five Questions. Yeah, I got to squeeze him into the Five Questions. And um, so good. That's that's awesome. Thank you, Woody. Thank he, you, Woody. Woody was on the Skype chat that we did on Sunday. Every month we do a Skype chat with... Anybody who is a ten dollars supporter and up, and uh, also all those ten dollars supporters and up also received two Jarrett goes to the movies koozies, koozies a couple of weeks ago as so a surprise. Enjoying seeing them. So that next perk will be probably around August or so. You, if you're a ten dollars supporter, you will get something in the mail for nothing, yeah. just for being awesome, just being cool. Ah. <sighs> anyway, so this colonoscopy, it's got me where I don't really want to drink beer. And uh, oh, that's weird. We had a mainline pipe leak in our uh, oh, front I thought you yard. Were gonna say you're going to mainline your I beer had a, from I now had on. A, <laughs> I had a mainline leak of my own. I'll tell you that much. Uh, and so our water tastes funny for a few days. And like all I drink is ice water, as we talked about on the show on Ant Man. And so it's really got me down. It really does. So like I can't drink the beer, and ice water tastes like shit. You know, and like the I can drink a bottle of water, but like. After about four drinks, that's too warm for me. <laughs> I just got a lot of problems uh, today. Well, a lot of problems. Well, the girls will be back from uh, watching the firecrackers anytime, and we'll start the show. Until then, uh, here are a few things you should know about me. Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, I want to thank our executive producers, who do include Wendy Croft, who I uh, I'm gonna say something about Wendy. Uh, Wendy is the sweetest person in the world. I think we all agree. Yeah. She's the queen of the podcast. She has her own tiara. But today I put a uh, a bitmoji on the uh, on the <laughs> on the internet, and she bitmojied me like right away and just goes, <laughs> "You've got bitmoji?" Question mark. And that there's her little bitmoji, and I'm just like, "God damn it! It's another <laughs> thing that I've got to do." <laughs> you know. So I just ignored it. I just ignored it. I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to fucking ignore the bitmoji. And then in a couple of days, I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> and just like bitmoji back, you know? And then maybe we're just not doing that. Anyway, yeah. right. I love you, Wendy. I'm, I I really am just kidding. I just thought that was funny that you did that. <laughs> David Murray, Sheila Ray Wonder, David Dooley, who's at Disney right now. Okay. By the time this comes back, he'll have which one? Lots of uh, oh, sorry, the small one. Which one? I don't know. <laughs> or the big one? I don't know. Uh, Rodon James, Matt Cardosi, one of our corporate VPs, Nigel Watson, Chris Whitehead, Lucy Murray, Daniel Cotton, our new corporate VP, Diane Small, Jared Spears, still in England. Oh, Diane. actually, he's in Paris today. Oh, he went to Paris. Yeah, he went to the Eiffel Tower today. So nice. he's uh, Took hanging the channel. Out. Hanging around with a bunch of smelly people that smoke. <laughs> just a miserable, miserable fucking place. Like, right. right, just the last place on earth I ever want to go. I don't want to like, go I, there. It, I swear to God, like, Casey is like, if, if she's ever just like, hey, I really want to go to Paris, I would be like, girl's trip. You know, like, get, out, get in there. <laughs> go do it. Just go croissant the shit out of that place. You know, like, just take it all in. Yeah. And when you go to Spain to the topless beach, I'll see you there. <laughs> uh, David Winsel, Lisa Winsel's husband. 
Mm-hmm. John Gickler, who will be on the show a little bit later. Shawnee May Griffiths. Greg Pascal, Mark Ryan. Tyler J. McCullough. Katie Morgan will be on the show a little bit later in her Sennheiser gaming headphones. <laughs> Svee Hurst. Les. Oh, I'm sorry, Les. So- Josh Millman, we like to call him the mailman, Jason Randall, Mike Breton, Chris Jacobs, Brian Dunning, Paul Balms, Amy Pitzinger, who will be joining us right here in this very room any minute, uh, we hope. Did Jason, you get a text that they're actually coming? I'm not on my phone anymore oh. because I just give up on all the shit. <laughs> like earlier when we restarted the show the second time, I was on my phone when I was supposed to start talking. and the, No, I was supposed to play a thing and... I just fucking gave up. I gave up. Did I say Jason Wall? Bodie Cooper, Kirsty Fisher, Dominic Petretta, Simone Vark, who did not quit the podcast, <laughs> Tess Green, Michael Price, and our newest... Oh, well, he's been on here, though, but uh, an executive producer who will be on Five Questions, Woody Chambers. Let's talk a little bit. That's like... Uh, you know what I fucking hate? I hate when you see like um, cover bands... Yeah, uh, I like cover bands. Don't don't get me wrong. But my I don't know. Are you if talking you know, about these tribute cover bands? I, that's or just that's cover fine. Bands? I like that shit a lot. But I to me that's like background music kind of. You know, like a, a there's some tribute bands that are the shit. Like Def Legend, that, they're from yeah. here, and the the ACDC ones from here. That my, Heart one was good. Did I see them? Uh, no. Oh no, you weren't there at the thing. No. Uh, okay, but the, I don't like when a band goes. Here's a song by Elvis. It goes a little something like this. <laughs> Doesn't it actually go a lot of something like that? Like, aren't you if you're playing? Any good, aren't you playing it goes the a goddamn lot like song? That. So should it just be like it this goes like it. this? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> or just shut up and play? Or yeah, I mean whatever. Like, it, here's a song by whomever. Philadelphia. You think it's an attempt at humor that just he gave up at the last second he was like i'm gonna be humorous and then he just said i'll just go something i think it's supposed to be like real rednecky sort of like laid back and like go a little something like this you know kind of thing you know like uh marin from uh not your girlfriends had to try out for um a role where she was she had an east texas accent where her dad mike is a like one of the coolest dudes you'll ever want to know but he's real east texas real super easy going and real quiet and like he just goes, she goes, what's the first? Th- I mean, like, how do I do an East Texas accent? And he goes, well, the first thing you got to do is slow down because <laughs> none of us ain't got nowhere to be. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, how perfect is that? Yeah. I mean, that's like the greatest description of how they talk Absolutely, yeah. ever. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Uh, you want to talk about Billy Madison now? Or do you want me to, oh, I don't say, know. to talk about some more shit? Uh, Billy, I like you more than a friend. Uh, <laughs> see you down the road. <laughs> That's not the end of our show. Hey, uh, Billy Madison came out in 1995, a whopping 89 minutes long, and just hilarity from start to finish. We could have watched it. Yeah. We, <laughs> <laughs> we actually could have. Yeah. We started this podcast an hour and seven minutes ago. <laughs> so look down at your, well, actually, two hours and seven minutes ago is when we started the pre-show. Yeah, true. Sure. We started this show an hour and seven minutes ago. So however long we are into the show, that's how fucked up this day is. Uh, In order to inherit his fed-up father's hotel empire, an immature and lazy man must repeat grades 1 through 12 all over again. Uh, Yeah, sure. I'll take that. I mean, I don't know. It's no Groundhog Day. I don't want to fight about it. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, I feel like now we've been through a lot together tonight. Yeah. Like, I feel like we just got out of Jurassic World together, and it's just like we're fucking inseparable from now on. Like, <laughs> it's just me and you and Sean, you know? And, just, and like, just me and you just on adventures and him just fixing shit, you know? Like, just <laughs> Sean, the radio doesn't work, and he clicks his fucking fingers, and there's some pliers come out of his fucking pocket, and, just, and it just works. We get free Sirius satellite radio everywhere we go and yeah. shit. Like, it's just, it's going to be the greatest time ever. And that's what's going to happen now because <laughs> because of this day and what we've been through together. Uh, this movie, of course. Oh, I'm sorry, Rich. God damn it. I should never forget you because we're inseparable now. <laughs> Over to Rich for his alternative synopsis. Billy Madison, a spoiled 20-something heir to Madison Hotels, ta- tackles the age-old question of, is shampoo better because it goes on first and cleans the hair? Or is conditioner better because it leaves the hair silky and smooth? Also, this movie's dumb. (laughs) 
Man, it's so funny because I remember like um, when when uh, holy shit, you called when, it. I totally called it. Hi, baby. Hi, how are you? Good. Oh. How are you? I brought two new guests. Oh. You brought two new guests. Oh, oh, good. Okay. Well, you take her outside. I think she's gonna go pee real bad. I know, and and, and I'm so glad yeah, you're. She actually missed me because she keeps wanting me to hold her. Yeah, we'll take her to the bathroom and then she can chill. Come on, my little baby. She's. You know how small her bladder is. It's like this small. It's like an egg. It's smaller than yours. No, I see every five seconds. Out. Well, that's because you drink too much Dr. Pepper, and we need to talk about that. <laughs> but not right now. Daddy's working. Kidney stones. Hi, podcast. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Emma makes a, uh, a rare appearance. She is 15, so we hardly ever see her. I actually forgot she lived here. I'm going to be completely honest. <laughs> that was fucking weird. Um, yeah. What, what, what are we doing right now? What just happened? Oh, we're welcoming in the girls. Yep. All right, so we'll welcome them into the show. Come on in, guys. Jack's putting Allie outside. Oh, awesome. You guys are going to love where we are. Oh, is, is, where's Amy? She got caught with animals and children. Oh, okay, but she's coming up here? Yeah. No. All right. I'll wait to talk about that then in a second. So, so you, you say that the... Oh, no, I remember what I was going to tell you. So when I was a kid, I remember Mind like I would... Rich, stop talking on the mic while I'm I'm telling a story. God damn it! Uh, so I would shower in my parents' shower all the time, and like my dad and mom were like those people that had like 27 bottles of shampoo and the thing. Like I guess they bought one every time they went to the store, uh, you know, whether they were going to use it, and then you know, Suave was on sale, right. so they had that. And so I just kind of like to, you and paper towels. They're always just, some no, sitting in front dude, of you. Dude, the paper I... towel store. Me and Amazon <laughs> subscription are going to have a fight. <laughs> Because I have pushed those for two months, the last two months. Maybe and they just, Rich is sending them to us again through Alexa. Keep, I apologize. I said I was sorry. Uh, so anyway, I used to make, uh, I used to do like a potion, and I really do feel like I was talking to myself a bit like this. Yeah. Like a potion. Are we know? really only at that part? Uh, so I'm going to tell you what's happened. <laughs> fill us in. We oh we have lost power. We'll fill, we'll fill the audience in for the third time. We have lost power and started over three, four times, three times. Yeah. The last time we literally rerouted. Well, the first time we didn't have any audio, so, so we, had to we start over completely over. And then yeah. we had power loss three times. Okay, three. so ask us how the fire works. Hold on, works. hold on. <laughs> the, the last time we rerouted all electricity to the one plug-in thing that stays on during the storm. So at least if it happens again, and just no power going. surges since then. No, no, no. That's that's just it. Three okay. in a row. We're trying to Tarantino this podcast. Yeah, like you just keep. Taking it back to the Something. Beginning. No, but I called it. I said, by the time we get to the point where we're in the podcast, y'all are going to walk in. Yay. And now you did. ask us how the fireworks How were the fireworks? They weren't. They canceled and them. And there's still people sitting everywhere just waiting for it. They, they put a thing out that said, like, well, we're just postponing it. We're just waiting a little bit longer. And Yeah, because if the wind is a certain amount, they can't do it. But they're, right. like they're saying, like, they're still doing it today. Jeez Louise. But they're not. No. It's 10 o'clock. So what did you do? You put an Everett to bed or... Yeah, he's going to bed, and he, I'm here. Everett's in bed. You guys are at the show. Yep. You're ever, all kids. Yay. Did the kids go go home disappointed or what? No, there were sparklers. They, they were, yeah. There were they poppers. Right, everybody's Loved fine. It. Well, we're glad you guys are here. Yay. Uh Because we um, so save the podcast. My lovely wife Casey is here. Hello. And our our reoccurring guest neighbor Amy is Hello. here. I got a I couple's gotta, best friend. I got a I couple's best have, friend. I don't. Have, oh, I got a nickname you. I got a nickname you though. You do. We uh today. So um uh. So Amy and Derek, her husband, are on our trivia team, that, and we win every Wednesday. Yep. And uh, so I'm not going to pitch it here, Rich, because this is not the time or place, but me and Amy are writing a movie together, and it, it is. is a doozy. What happened yep. to our movie? Well, ours is better. Oh, that's yeah. true. It is a good one. Your movie, your song. <laughs> the song we, I, we actually have to do. Well, like, at some point. That, we, we have to do that at some point. Yeah, that's true. All right. The baby's back. Doors shut. Uh, let's get in this podcast. This well, hang movie, on. What's this movie about? Can't tell you. Uh, this movie does star Adam Sandler, uh, one of Rich's favorite actors. And uh, he, he does play. You're saying that sarcastically, but I do love Adam Sandler. Do you? Yes. Do you love Adam Sandler's movies? Yeah. I feel like you have Will Ferrell disease on him. No, 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 no. I am a huge Adam Sandler fan. Okay. You like Little Nicky? He has two types of movies. Yeah, stupid. and He has the Little Nicky Billy Madison type of movie. Yeah. And then he's got like the um, 51st, Club. no, 51st Dates. I don't even consider that an Adam Sandler movie. Okay. It's, okay. He's just starring in a movie, you know what I mean? Yep. You like his romantic comedy it, kind it, of thing. I, 
I wouldn't say romantic comedy. He just has he has the Adam the the uh, Billy Madison little Nicky where he's just a complete doofus the entire movie, right? Doing stuff that's not funny to me. Right. And then he's got like Happy Gilmore, which kind of straddles the fence, but it's more on the the Fifty First Date side to mm-hmm. me. I, I like that Adam Sandler, and I love that Adam Sandler. Actually. Yeah, this Adam Sandler is my favorite Adam Sandler. I think everything. I will tell you that that one thing that that struck me this watch was that I did sort of get sick of the the same little buffoon voice with that, and that's what he calls that voice is the buffoon or whatever. Uh-huh. I, I did. I never really had thought about it as being overdone, you know. But I was just like, "There's one point where it's just like there. She's being actually kind of sweet to him, and he's still doing it. And it's like, you know, like I don't feel like it was it was needed then. But but I will tell you this: I laughed out loud, start to finish, um, <laughs> loved it just as much as I ever have. Um, and and some of the stupid stuff is is what is what's great, you know, on it like the. Just the argument over the soup where he just is making just ridiculous noises and it's basically like he's speaking in tongues. That's fucking oh, funny to me. At the dinner table. Yeah. Shiverish. Shiverish. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Darren McGavin. Ga- okay, let me take that again. Darren McGavin, uh, in movies since 1945. Some great, great movies. And uh, here he is playing the dad. Was he, He's the, uh, I believe he's also the father in your favorite Christmas movie of all time. Oh, yeah, that is story. him, right? Yeah, where he says the granddaddy of all yeah. dirty words. Uh, Bridget Wilson Sampras is on here, uh, as, just as Bridget Wilson playing Veronica Vaughn. The Sampras was added when she married tennis star Pete Sampras. Oh, and, did she? Yeah, that's uh, where she... Me no, 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 I'm being serious no, about that. True. Yeah. Oh, that is true. She is they're married. still married. Yeah, and they're still married. Yep. Like, I mean, he did it, guys. It's like this big tennis champion, married this chick... Three kids. Apparently, things are going well. Excellent. You know, I mean, good for them. See, very little chances of a Tiger Woods situation happening here. Uh, but you know what? Fuck it. We can all dream. Uh, Bradley <laughs> Whitford is in this. Who the fuck is that? Oh yeah, he's the bad guy. So he, I like this guy. He's in. Uh, he was in West Wing, and has right. been in a bunch of different stuff. He's a voice actor. You can hear him on a bunch of like older cartoons and stuff. But I really liked him in this. He's a, he's always a great villain. Um. Norm Macdonald, of course, played Norm Macdonald in this movie, other but they did name him Frank. And then uh, Larry Hankin played Carl, who was great. Uh, a nice little uh a nice little friend of of darn little Nikki. I'm sorry, uh, Billy Madison. Um so let's get to the first clip here. Are you guys you'll get you guys all strapped in, settled in, ready to do this? Yeah, is our air conditioner broken up here? Um, you know what? I don't think that it is going right now. Did we not plug it in down there? Um, <laughs> <laughs> is that the main plug? Oh, no, I see what's going on. Power outage kicked it off. It was like this last time we did the podcast, too. Like, I had it at, like, 65, and it was, like, 71. Like, it just won't... The air doesn't get going. There, I just... It's kicked on now. Um... Yeah, I can see what's going on. It's it's 67 downstairs. All right. Ha! <sighs> Clip! <laughs> well, I'm not saying he's an idiot. I just think he might not be mature enough to run a Fortune 500 company. My late wife Emily and I started this company with a 15-unit motel in Patchock, Long Island. We built it into 650 hotels. Our dream was to one day turn it over to our only son, Billy. Carl, how many people work for Madison? 61,000 and change. Now, how long are those people going to have jobs once Billy has the hotel operator speaking gibberish? Oh, Billy, Billy boy, when are you going to find whatever it is you're looking for? Here's a nice piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of the greatest transitions in the history of film. How can his dad have this expectation? There's no way that he can honestly expect this guy to run a Fortune 500 company. He, he hasn't worked a day in his life, obviously. No. It's no. silly. But he has figured out how to accomplish nothing. Uh, with without a high school education, and still have good fashion sense. 
I thought the ripped up tennis sweater was fucking immaculate. <laughs> I really did. I liked it. I wanted to get one right when I saw this movie, but uh, it, it wouldn't have looked good with my hair. But the shirt was Frank's. The shirt was Frank's, 100%. Um, <laughs> it so, said Frank on it, upside down. Just to back up a, a smidge, I mean, I just, again, I think the whole penguin chase when he's drunk is fucking hilarious. I think I still fucking have the argument between shampoo and conditioner in the shower from time to time. I, I just do. I mean, and, and I do often, sometimes I side with one and sometimes the other. and But my favorite, of course, Champagne. stop looking at me, swan. Yeah, where's your swan? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stop looking at me, swan. But, oh, that was one of the questions. That's one of the questions later, which I like better, shampoo or conditioner. So we got we to gotta save that. They've already answered it. Oh. But you weren't here for that. Oh. Uh, so, <laughs> and I mean, <laughs> old man Clemens hate shit is like, I mean, that's one of my fucking favorite things to say ever. When somebody is just like, oh, my God, somebody tore that bathroom up. It's just like, oh, man, Clemens hates shit. <laughs> Can, you know? You've seen it too many I times. I have 100%. But my, this is one of my favorite lines of the entire movie happens right here on this scene where the guy goes, he goes, call the fire department. This one's out of control. And she goes, don't step on it again, Harry. He goes, don't tell me my business, devil woman. <laughs> That's fucking genius comedy writing right That's there. That's my grandparents. Yeah. Yeah, just oh, arguing yeah. out the door. Like, uh, about nothing. Yeah, absolutely. Just then he just like it's full of poop. He called their shit poop. <laughs> I just don't know. I just I don't know. I think that you got to let yourself go sometimes. Not all. Com- <laughs> we talked about it. You know, not 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 all comedy is fucking Funny. political. Oh, you know, it's just all good. Uh, do you ever do the uh, any so any pranks as a kid? Anybody like you ever light shit? Do you ever do the, do the light the shit Man, on I fire? Was, I was such a I didn't I was so afraid of getting in trouble, yeah. and it wasn't even getting in trouble by my parents. It was it was the it was the whole anxiety of someone else getting like jumping down yeah. my throat. Like yeah. I couldn't do that. I couldn't have you someone even do, else. Like, stupid things like toilet paper houses or. Um, I think I TP'd a house once. But I got my house TP'd, and it was the worst experience ever cleaning it up. And my dad was pissed at me. Yeah, like he was angry at me. Like who did you piss off? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I, I don't know how he got mad at me, but I, he was furious at yeah. me. Right. And that, it my took dad would have been mad at me too, yeah. to clean that up. It was, <laughs> ugh, it was terrible. You just spray it with the garden hose. I tried that. I yeah. thought that would work. They it fucking... just got wet all up, all yeah, over the worse. tree. They got you with some Charmin or some shit. That's supposed, it's supposed to dissolve. You know? It didn't dissolve. Yeah. God damn it. I'm sorry that happened to you. Yeah, sorry. Can I be completely honest? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I think the last time I toilet papered a house, I was 20. <laughs> yeah, well, that makes sense. I mean, I think I've toilet papered a house it as an like adult. It was like me and Ashley Stowell's old roommate. She had, like, gone to sleep real early <laughs> and, like... Me and him ended up at like neighborhood Walmart, like one of those scenes in a movie where all of a sudden it's like, what, you know, like elevator music, and, yeah, like, you know, yeah, and there's yeah. like ten cases of giant toilet paper and like a couple things of beer, and we're just like, do 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 do, <laughs> back in the car, like, yeah, let's do it, here we go, <laughs> Slayers all playing, yeah, I no, I definitely have wrapped a house as an adult for sure, um, and then you know, I mean, obviously, like the. Ding dong ditching, um, which don't uh, laugh before you say it. Well, it was called something else uh, in Wichita <laughs> Falls. Everything was called something else in Wichita <laughs> That's Falls. That's very yeah. true, and I'm reminded of it every firework season too. But um, yeah, so the uh, so we did that, and then uh, we did the uh, what's the stuff where you um, you put toilet paper in a bucket? Oh, ring and run. Is that the other, what y'all called it? Yes, that's it. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, what, that's the one. what is it? Wishy wom? Is it wishy wom? Where like you get the toilet paper and you throw it against the house and it just like poof, it like makes like a oh, uh, like paper mache like splatter. So we're just running down the street with a bucket like poof, on everybody's garage and that my mom, kind of shit. My mom worked for this company that sold like paper goods and stuff, and they would just send her stuff. And they had these huge like industrial sized things of saran wrap. Yeah. Like and they were thick, and so we'd saran wrap uh, car shut. Oh, that's that. good, a good shit. One. That's a good one. I, no, we never did anything. We did like saran that. wrap a friend of ours to a tree. Yeah, thinking it was hilarious, and she was like, "Ha ha, guys, that's funny." Yeah. And then we like left her there for like long enough to make her cry. Yeah, that's not good. And now I feel oh, really no. bad about it. But yeah. she's fine. She's a teacher. Did Stuff. you ever <laughs> apologize so she never came back and did anything horrible? To oh, we were later? friends for years after that. <laughs> Stuff done to somebody. We realized somebody. that wasn't funny immediately. <laughs> I didn't like when stuff was done to somebody. Like, I've told you guys the story, and you probably don't remember, but um, my friend Eric Walker, one time, my other friend Scott Simpson, like, 
duct taped his face, like duct taped his mouth shut and like wrapped the tape around his head. And the guy was real drunk and real immature and like just to like get it off him was like really bad. And I ended up having to take him home and take him into his house and he was all fucked up and his dad woke up and I had to like tell him what happened and God, I just hated that shit. But someone, something was done to somebody. But I fucking, I can did. die from that. Yeah, if that's you, not good. Guys, don't bring the fucking room down. It's been a long day. <laughs> yeah, you but just, if you just but like if he put vomits. like nine hundred forks in somebody's yard, but it actually is harder to do it than it is for them to clean yeah, it up. We, but it's hilarious. Yeah, the forking thing. <laughs> uh, My brother uh, used to do all that shit. Like he did everything. If you do the metal ones though, you can fuck somebody's lawnmower up, oh, man. Yeah. And that you talk about your dad being pissed. Yep. That's not good. The lawnmower. They're all sticking up. They know they're there. Yeah, but the, the point the is but that if, but if you... to get them in there far enough. To, the, so forking someone's yard is a vandalizing thing. Yeah. The point is to get them down to where they can't see them. So they have to run the lawnmower to get them, and the only, and, or you got to go and crawl around and Man, try to find them. We were them. doing it wrong. Either we thought that. you just woke up and it was hilarious that there were nine billion forks in your yard. Right. Yeah. Everybody does it wrong. You're supposed to put the fork in and then snap off the top of it. So the only way to get them oh. out is to dig them up. Yeah. Oh. Those are plastic forks. No, I don't yeah. think we want to do that. We just but wanted to like, wake ones, up and yeah. be like, metal what the ones. Jack up your Yeah, that lawnmower. was like. You could put bologna on people's cars yeah. and it would like eat the paint up. Yeah, I put shaving cream all over uh, my high school we principal's that, trunk. See, I was too empathetic back then. Yeah, I yeah. thought you were going to say impotent and I was I was totally <laughs> going to feel sorry for you. I mean, that's fine. High, you, you've made school... up for it since then. Yeah. Our I high did. school principal, who actually lived in your neighborhood whenever I met you, which is funny, uh, yeah. used to drive around a um, Louisville fighting farmer, like wrapped Mustang that Ford had like donated him to like drive. Right. So everybody knew where he fucking lived. Right, yeah. and, I mean, I think it was before he lived in your neighborhood, but I mean, I think his shit got fucked up all the time. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's just one of those things. You're asking for uh, it, though, if you're driving that around. Mm, right. Yeah, exactly. Hey, what about me? A maroon those, Mustang that says fighting farmers. Yeah. Those days are over, though. I mean, those days are out with the crank call now because you got... Uh, Kids you, are lazy. Can, well, you have cameras everywhere now. I mean, like... Yeah. Oh, yeah, remember, like... Can, We'll get neighborhood updates all the time. It's like, whose kid's this? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, the man. Full-on face shots. Full, uh -huh. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There are some creepy ones, though, of those where, like, somebody comes up and starts fucking around, like, looking for packages and shit. The, the, sometimes th that kind of like, makes me a little funny and yeah. Like, I don't like it very much. You know what I mean? We'll just move on. I mean, now it got fucking spooky. <laughs> there it is. We'll the what off. if the power went off Sean, again? Sean, Jesus. Right? It's that. like a ghost story for <laughs> suburbanites. <laughs> Oh my God! And then so I never got my Amazon package ever, yeah, and they still charged me. Your ring doorbell rings. They said it was delivered. And you're in a movie. Your phone says there's someone motion at your door. Someone is holding your Amazon package. Someone's just holding your package. <laughs> in the movie. Yeah. Shit got weird yeah. quick. All right, you got it. First grade through twelfth grade, all over again. I'll do each grade in two weeks. Take the test. Regraduate, prove to you I'm not an idiot, and then I get to take over Madison Hotels. Hmm. Well, that's some idea. You just think of that? Yeah, I did. Huh? <laughs> it's pretty good, huh? Hmm. Brian, don't you think the future of Madison Hotels and its 61,000 employees is too important to gamble on a game like this? No. You're on. Carl, you make the arrangements. You pass every grade before June 15th. And you take over instead of Eric. Have a nice weekend, son. <laughs> you start school on Monday. Oh! How is this a good idea? Carrots opening a bill. You know why he wants to give his kid? All kidding aside. Like, obviously, you're not going to be able to make sense of this movie. You've already said it was stupid. <laughs> But do you know why he wants the kid? In all seriousness, you know why he wants to give the hotel chain to his child? Because he no, loves. I know him. why. He fucking loves the but kid. But he, but what? He wants the kid to grow up. He wants something to click in his mind. He wants like that's just it. He's just and like he sees, sixty. He sees potential because he probably knows that he's not just a moron. And he was probably a bumbling Put him in the mail room. Too. Put the guy in the mail room oh, if he's got let potential. Him work his, let him work. Yeah, but sixty-one thousand people are going to lose their jobs because he's running the company. <laughs> A sixty-one thousand people are. We've 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 already established that anyone in their right mind can be president of the United States. Mm -hmm. So this guy could tell. Come on, that was a good joke. <laughs> that is a good joke. This is remember oh, that video gosh. I sent you. <laughs> yeah, not good. <laughs> that was fucking fun. Wait, Everybody wait. else is dying laughing right you now. You watch the videos he sends you sometimes. Oh. Yeah. It, it uh, is that the sweater you were talking about, by the way? This one intrigued me because it was about comedy and what was funny and what was not. 
Um, I do sometimes take issue with, and this is really weird because my favorite songwriter of all time is English and now has a song called Let's Make America Great Again. Mm -hmm. But I do, I don't, I think it's funny that like most of our political commentators that we pay attention to are John Oliver and like people that are English. It's just like. I don't. Yeah. yeah, Well, obviously you don't. But anyway, I stuck with it with that guy and I thought. That was a very particular we. I thought it was really funny. (laughs) Um, is that the sweater you were talking about? Yeah, it's a fucking great sweater. I have that sweater. I would still the exact sweater. I would still wear that shit. So you agree? He's an idiot. Great fashion sense. Yeah, I wouldn't have torn it up, but I guess that's cool. You know why it got tore up? Somebody forked his fucking yard, <laughs> and he was out there mowing. They forked his yep. forking yard. Yeah, they forked his forking yard. yard. So this brings us to where's my snack pack? And uh, <laughs> holy shit, is that fucking funny? Also, isn't in Punch Drunk Love, the thing that has the airline miles on it, pudding? It is. I don't know. He has to go buy like 30,000 things of pudding and he ends up with like all, like it, that's the whole point of the movie. Like it really happened, right? Have we already discussed his relationship with, No. what's, what's her name? The maid. What's her name though? Uh, Let's say Hildy. I'm not sure. It's not Hildy. He says it. Anyway, like the, every time they're on screen together, like I think it's great. Because she'll make a comment, and like he's act- I feel like he's genuinely yeah. laughing yeah, at I it. Like, so. stop! Like, you look kind of yeah. actually embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Like, the only she like genuine armpit. response to anything. Yeah, yeah. You, you want me to take my shirt off for her you? Her teeth kept <laughs> messing with me. I kept hyper focusing on her teeth, but I like their chemistry together. Yes, I think. But it was awesome. super weird. It was. That's why. I know, but I just. It's like I feel like that's exactly how he'd actually react if that was like. His... But I mean, not even paying attention what they were saying, just their physical chemistry. I think maybe what you were saying, like she was cracking him up kind yeah. of thing, but that was very um, visually apparent yeah. that they had good chemistry it together. Was genuine. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and she was the member of the staff at the house that really loved him and really cared for him. Probably and like, since and he was or little. Probably little. since he was really little. Yeah. Yeah, or exactly. just wanted to bone him. One of the two. Well, yeah, I think probably but a yes. little. But, you know, back to school. Back to school. Is it weird to, to want to sleep with somebody I... that you've raised since they were a baby? Um, because I feel like oh it man, is. I had an awesome joke that I can't say. Yeah, why? Just can't say it because it's a it's a Trump joke. No, <laughs> it's got to be a Trump joke. <laughs> no. It has to be. Yeah, it has to be. It was, to it was it a joke that I, that I heard about Sunday. <laughs> oh, I don't What's know what Sunday? you're talking about. Yes. Oh, so yeah, that's not a joke. <laughs> no, nope. no, nope. but it was. Nope. You probably already have. You just don't know. But no, we will not. That's not, <laughs> that's a, joke. not a joke. Um, and I'm happy to tell. You, I'll happy to remind you at another time. Right. Uh, <laughs> first meeting with Veronica Vaughn happens, and uh, of course, obvi- it's obvious he's not going to get anywhere with that. But boy, do things escalate quickly in that relationship. <laughs> she fucking hates this guy right off the top, and it's it, he put no effort into it. Yeah. By the way, he just he keeps on just being an, an idiot, right? And uh, what else? I just I don't know. I I think certain things of of this movie are really perfect because like I think walking into first grade and the first kid Miss that walks Lippy. up to him is huh? Miss Lippy. But the first kid that walks up to him is like, "Hey, Mister, guess what I had for breakfast? Beans!" And just starts doing the <laughs> fart sound. It's like that would actually happen. Like that's something my that's son be would our do. Kids exactly. In kindergarten. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Like, we walk up, like into, like I mean, they're in pre-K now. Yeah. And you walk into the classroom. At first, and everyone goes, "Everett, yeah. Everett, yeah. Everett, Everett, it's your mommy. Everett, your mommy. And you, like all of them. Then they just bombard you. Do you know my name? I yeah. got an ice cream cone. Yeah. Today yeah. I did this. You're like, holy. Fuck, <laughs> it really is everywhere. true. And then little weirdo zombies. They'll just walk up. Does Does Everett really know karate? Yeah. Well, I mean, he <laughs> he does karate. He has a karate class. Well, I can play basketball. That is awesome. I am so glad that you can play basketball. My dad can play basketball, too. That's great. I'm glad your dad can play basketball. I probably shouldn't because I'm too fat. My mom earrings, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's cool. You have you have a lot of pictures on your arms. That's mm-hmm. that's the one that I pictures. get all the time. Pictures. Yeah. Yeah, oh, the other day, cute. The other day, somebody, no, the, the, and I'd never heard this one. The other day, I was reading to his class, as we discussed on the uh, show, and this little girl goes... This little girl goes, you got a lot of stamps. Oh, (laughs) you you have been so good. You got a lot of stamps. I mean, a kid getting a stamp is a big fucking deal now, man. I mean, like, you not get a stamp, and, like, it could ruin his whole day. Yeah, Everett asked me when his stamps were going to stop coming off. Yeah. Because he thought it was, like, something that just happened as he got older. (laughs) 
The yeah. stamps just stayed. That's funny. Anyway, so she thought I was such a good boy. Did you not know he was reading to the class? Because you looked like you didn't know about that. No, yeah, I didn't. you were the hero of the day last week. You never week, talked about sure. reading in, in the class. Oh no, I did. I did the Thursdays this month. And so uh, the dads were asked to pick a day mm-hmm. to read to the class. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And so I he picked, signed up for the whole month. I picked up. I picked every Thursday. Well, right. we know it's not Fridays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just like. <laughs> yeah, she said pick a day and time, and I was like, I'll do Thursdays at nine thirty. I think it's awesome, but like apparently, like. They only had to pick one day. He just signed <laughs> no, up for the I whole entire it. month. It's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> I love that shit. My kid came home and he was like, Jarrett, he read Mama, Mama, lo- yeah, Jamma, Mama, Mama, no. yeah. <laughs> Well, and I did a thing where so I, excited. I did a thing where I read uh, one, the intro to Corduroy one week, and then I did a cliffhanger where I go, next week oh. we'll <laughs> read about when he gets lost wow. at the laundromat. And we walk, I walked in and I go, Remember whenever I told you we were going to read about Corduroy? Yeah. Well, we're not reading about him yet. We're going to read Llama Llama or whatever in the class. I was like, now we're going to read about Corduroy? You know, like everything. That's why my kid couldn't sleep for a week. <laughs> oh, I, didn't, I need to know what happens to Corduroy. Oh, man. And if one kid hugs you, it's like, it's it's insane. It's like, you, like, you know that story or that, that when the, people ask you, like, how many second graders it would take to kick your ass? Like, I think the number is low. I think the number is yeah. lower than you think. Like, those Seven. fuckers are, if they swarm you. They're strong. <laughs> Man. Everett has to do a thing every day where they all want to give him a hug because he's, like, bigger than everybody. So he, like, individually, like, hug all these, like, little girls and then pick them up and then put yeah. them down. Mm, right. And they just all think, they all get in line so we can he can pick to, them up. He likes to show his brawn. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Kids are weird. Is that what he calls it? This puppy was the happiest puppy in the whole world. In fact, his name was Happy. Happy looked through the bushes. I'll never let you get lost again, cried the little boy, who was so happy that he gave Happy a kiss on his wet little puppy nose. The end. Whoa, 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 Miss Lippy. Part of the story I don't like is that the little boy gave up looking for Happy after an hour. He didn't put posters up or anything. He just sat on the porch like a goon and waited. That little boy's got to think, you got a pet. You got a responsibility. If your dog is lost, you don't look for an hour and then call it quits. You get your ass out there and you find that fucking dog. (laughs) I think it's it's time to play dodgeball. dodgeball. That is one of my favorite things to say ever out of movies. I that and uh, what I love about that scene too is he doesn't really show his New York accent a lot. Mm-hmm. But the man, you yeah, find dog. that fucking dog. Dog. Dog, like, talk. He, he, like, dog, 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 talk. Talk about dogs and shit, you know. So her reaction at the end is very Sandler-esque movie thing. So like the on on the on the side that I don't like, the the, the weird non sequiturs non sequiturs where they have this weird look and then they just say something that just doesn't make any uh, any sense oh, with what perfect. just happened and then and then they transition to some other scene. That's just a very Sandler thing to do. I don't know if he does it on purpose, like he goes, "We're gonna do that thing that I love that we do," or if it's just by accident. Yeah, you expect a reaction, and it's just like. Let's just talk about something else. Yeah, Which, it's I yeah. It's, feel, I feel like that's something that happens in every day, though. Isn't that just one thing where somebody says something stupid and you just go, "Okay, no. now we're gonna yes," because exactly. it is like that's what you, that happens yeah, all, Jared the has all the time. That's and not, moving on. And, yeah, exactly. No, no, no. That's totally different. And something else, you know, or like, uh, or the fucking, that's a passive aggressive. I'm, I'm, I don't want to have this conversation. Let's no. do something else. No, because this Jared's is it's not passive aggressive at all. Oh Jesus Christ! No, I'm saying. That I just think that kind of stuff happens. Okay, like somebody says something but that, ridiculous. That, it, it isn't yeah. that. I get what you're saying, though. That's totally. It yes. is. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying you're wrong. A common thing. I'm, no, I'm she not. wasn't doing what you're doing. She didn't do that. Yeah, she's going. Here's what she's doing. She's going. Okay. She no, she let's, didn't let's do that. Let's move on to something else. She's just ignoring what happened altogether. Like she, she had this. Like she had just had an orgasm. She's smiling, <laughs> and then she's like, "It's time for." Uh, uh, yeah, it, if you watch it again, there's no way you get what you'd you have to be that type of teacher to teach like first graders anyway, yeah. though. Just to be like, I'm gonna fucking ignore that so I right. don't kill myself. Just move right on. on. Yeah, yep. yeah. Now I never noticed that the dog's name was Happy. 
I, I yeah. That was the I, first I, time I that that, on that as well. Little foreshadowing. But yeah. I mean, was it that? He just liked naming things happy, and his second movie he wrote, he goes, let me name me happy this time. Well, do you not think that Happy Madison, I mean, like he wrote Billy Madison, he wrote Happy Gilmore, they were kind of in... But they didn't write at the same time. They were going on at the same time. Like, they, they came out, like, very close together. Um, and so, like, the whole Happy Madison thing, I don't know. It, it's it's just one of those things. I'm, I'm probably wrong. But I just thought that that, that tie-in... Was kind of cool. The whole happy. I wonder. Uh, that's my. That's my question. I don't know. I don't. I doubt they wrote them at the same time, but they could have. Yeah. They could have. Yeah. Or close but together. If or they maybe, did, yeah. why would they name the two characters the same? But it, it seems like more of an homage or a, a tie back into the the first movie. Yeah. Or and you know what? He may have written. He. There's possible he wrote Happy Gilmore could first be. and couldn't sell it. Could be. And yep. for some reason, people like the uh, the one that you don't like. Right. The goofy guy. Right. Um. It, it was number one at the box office, made no money at all. This movie? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the um, dodgeball scene is so fucking good, and I I just love the, you know, the, the whole O'Doyle rules or whatever, it's, and then, you know, then everybody <laughs> takes it, but it reminded me of a, <laughs> it reminded me of, of a Mitch Hedberg joke, and I just couldn't stop thinking about it, so I couldn't stop laughing at it. He's out there, and like, and he's hitting him, he goes, you know, I wasn't any good at, sp <laughs> Mitch Hedberg said, I wasn't good, I wasn't any good at sports. But now I could kick some fucking ass at Little League. Because <laughs> he's a grown man. Right. That's fucking fun. That's See, funny. that's comedy. That's comedy. Uh, I just couldn't stop thinking about that. Basically, everything in my life goes back to a George Carlin or Mitch Hedberg joke, basically. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to let you know. Um, I read so. that the dodgeball thing was real. And they had to cut it real quick before the kids started to cry. Really? <laughs> he actually just hurled the it ball. It looks right like at their it. Faces. I kind of wonder because yeah. like, yeah. I figured they were like a foam ball or something, and then they just made that noise. Right. Well, a couple different sources said that it was very real. Yeah. I mean, he's when he pegs the kid in the yeah. back, he's throwing it at yeah. him. You know. But it did look yeah. like it was more of like a foam ball than like a rubber playground ball. Because no, he was that's real. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. He, you could tell he was aiming at feet and backs and not like at the. I don't know, man. Stuff. It looked and like he, he was. He that, went for it. He, he when he was hitting it. that dude in the back, like it. That's full on, man. <laughs> I mean, that looked like it would hurt me. And uh, did anybody ever actually eat paste? Oh, that sure. grossed me out. I had yeah, to cover weird. up the screen when he was I don't eating even it. Rem I, I knew there were ki kids that did it. I know yeah. that there were kids that did it too, but I don't remember the kids. The, the thing that I liked. Was to get glue on my fingers and peel it off. Yeah, let it dry. Make it look like boogers. Yeah. yeah. It, yes. Exactly. That's a far cut. cry from eating it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. I'm trying. Uh, there's some. I, okay. So we all did fucked up shit with paste, you know. But or glue or whatever. No, I did. You didn't. No. <laughs> no. You know what I didn't like though? This finger painting because I don't like to get that kind of shit all over my hands. I don't either. And it was a uh, it was a whole it was a hard sell for me to try to get out of that. Sometimes <laughs> they wanted me to like put this stuff. You want me to put that on my hands on purpose? <laughs> Like, what do, you, what do you mean? There's piles of this paint. You want me to stick what in there? My I can hands? Bring, I can bring my own brush. Yeah, it's I can. Fine. Whatever. Like, I'm not, stick, I'm not sticking. I love them. that. I am not sticking my hands in that. How will that come off after I'm done with this whole Did thing? Did you guys have the thing, and maybe not like, so we used to have a thing whenever, like, I don't know, maybe through third grade, and our teacher would give us cans of shaving cream to clean our desks. Yes, at the end of every no. year. At the, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. We got to do it a couple that times a year. Fun. No. So we got to have cans. So they would, he would let us, and we'd play in it and stuff. But really, you're kind of getting all the gunk off of it. And we'd wipe it off. Because like, that has some kind of chemical in it that just like brings the yeah. dirt up to the it's surface or something. Soap. Yeah, so they'd let so us like. washing everything They'd let us play them. in it, no. make pictures, and be everywhere. And then you wipe it all down, well, and your, your desks are all shiny. Let me perfect. ask you this. So while you're playing with it, is it like starting to show the dirt and everything? Like Probably. Like, we probably didn't even notice we that. We were disgusting. So not not at all related but somehow what it reminds me of is one time we did a show in Lubbock and it was like a really windy day Enough said. and in Lubbock like everybody's just filthy fucking dirty like cuz it's just so bad right Every, oh. and then our and then so they uh it had rained so they moved to the last two bands to a club and after that club thing they did the thing where they filled the whole room up with bubbles Ew, yeah. And it was all these fucking dirty people walking through the soap bubbles, and it turned brown. It was the grossest thing I've ever seen in my Didn't life. Did you live in Lubbock, Amy? I did. I had to go to a wedding <laughs> in <Jeez>. Lubbock, <laughs> and I. I what? He's just looking up to heaven. Like, Give me an answer. Here. I had to go to a wedding. A wedding in Lubbock. I'd never been to Lubbock before. I drove in. There's that circle that goes around the city, and there's like mini Vegas where they sell Which the is beer. 
just yeah. closes it all in. And yeah. but when I'm driving into town, I, everything is just completely covered in dust. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just everything. It smells like cow poop. Oh, it's it horrible. Does. Horrible water because they got fluoride <laughs> in the water. Your teeth also, get all jacked. I'll t- I, I'll t- uh, here's a po- positive th- t- couple of things. First of all, Mini Vegas is gone because now they sell beer in the city limits. All okay. those businesses are fucked. Yeah. Uh, but I will tell you this: the um, it's it's actually if you're ever lost, it's actually impossible to get lost in Lubbock. True. Because it's on the grid where the streets are numbered one way and in yeah. alphabetical order the other way. Right, right, I remember that. Easy to navigate. Easy to navigate. Yep. Yep. Katie Morgan said, I watched my kid eat face cream out of a jar. I easily believe that my kid eats paste. <laughs> or that, no, 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 that kids eat paste. He will 100%. Watch him just eat it right out of a jar. Absolutely. All right, let's move on. Look at this. Both of them answered. You know, this is like... <laughs> Everything's Eight clicking. to ten shows in a row I where know. like I, they've answered and they're both there. No camp. You know why it is? This fucking Nige Watson hadn't been on in a while <laughs> to fuck me up with his double account nonsense. <laughs> you know, like yeah. I missed the guy and everything, yeah. but the whole two account thing got maybe, me. For maybe a while. Skype deactivated both accounts because he had two. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how's it going, guys? Uh, Katie Morgan, how it's nice to see you. I didn't get to see you on the chat the other day. I don't know why. Everybody else can see you. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not asking you to solve the mystery. I'm just letting you know it's nice to see you now. Oh, I see you too. Skype is a bitch. That's what I'm going with. Yeah. We're going to be, uh, and you're going to come see a show soon, which will be fun. And Yeah. Uh, I'm actually trying to work out with the venue where I can pump. <laughs> Are you being serious? That, I'm dead serious. That is 100% the most English thing I have ever heard an American try to do in my life. 100%. If there's any English people on here right now, they will 100% tell you that they will call a place and try to get them to accommodate some fucked up shit. Like, it's just crazy. Really? It's, oh, yeah. Well, it's like, listen hey. to me. I My leg is attached to this motorcycle. Is there a way I could park the motorcycle to where I could see the stage, but no one will make fun of me? And people will, t- <laughs> they'll build a wall around the motherfucker. <laughs> build a wall around motorcycle ass. You know, like, it's a whole deal. I thought they were the, it's fine. I just No, no, go. no. That's just it. They, they have to make everybody happy all the time. Uh, one person complains about some shit. The fucking party's over. That's what happens. Uh, thankfully, Ohio law is on my side where they kind of can't tell me no. Gotcha. But it, I don't know. If I need to, I'll sit in the bathroom, boobs out, and do it. I only need five minutes. Well, here's the What's thing. What's wrong with the stall? I will I'll 100% guarantee no you plugs. we can get you oh, some. power? We'll get you some privacy somewhere uh, in the backstage area, and you can cover up, and, uh, and you can pump there. It'll be fine. I will ask you about that after this. Thank you. <laughs> All right. That'll be fine. We don't have to work it out right now. I mean, they have to be able to watch you no, do No, no, no. I just said uh, that. I just said she could have some privacy. And all oh, that. I thought you meant privacy with you guys. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Come on, dude. It's, all right. What are we doing here? You know, and, Jesus! And Gary Gary sees it all the time. Sorry. You know? Like, Gary's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Gary's wife's still breastfeeding, too. So he's, it's just, oh, and then, and I spend a lot of time with Kelly Dolly Rot, so I'm, I'm just seeing it all the time, yeah. too. Yeah. You know? So just, it's. It's fine. Well, um, happy fourth to you guys. And uh, obviously we're talking about the movie Billy Madison this week. Uh, were you guys able to watch the movie? Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. That is two weeks in a row everybody's watched the movie. Now, um, had y'all seen this before? For free. Uh, yeah, yeah, right? You guys ever seen this movie before? Yeah. Yeah, it's I, been I a while. Yeah, so uh, when I was, you know, this I didn't, I wasn't even thinking about the timeline for this. This is like 1993, so I guess Happy Gilmore was right before this, and uh, right, no, that's the after. order. This came out, then Happy this Gilmore. This was his first. But man, I was, I loved everything he did at this point, man. I mean, I, I've, I've told that before. Like, I've, it's funny because we were looking for a place to stream it earlier, and and Casey goes, "Well, I found it on uh, Direct TV, but we got to pay for it." Or uh, you got to use your phone to get it on whatever. So I ended up finding it on Hulu, and I had to like uh, I had to like update the Hulu. Fuck you, John. So I had to update this Hulu. You know, there must be there you must. Have told me this. What happened? So John found it on Hulu too. Yeah. Yeah, and then what happened? Uh, Katie, Katie. I, Katie. I didn't. I looked on the fucking 29th to yeah. see if it was on Hulu. 
It wasn't. It was up uploaded there on the first. Ah, <laughs> interesting. So I paid for it. Damn it! Wow, man. You know what Amazon does now, though. This is fucking. Aw- I mean, this is actually a, a, something good for us to be telling our listeners. Okay. So leave this in. I'm oh. not. I'm not joking. Okay. Uh, if you have the Fire Stick or the new Amazon Cube or whatever, and you tell her to play, like, let's say, I, so today I said play Billy Madison. She just goes to the free service that has it and plays it for you. So yeah. she searches through your Prime, your Netflix, your Hulu, or whatever, and just finds it. And yeah, then, I think it didn't start out like that. They no. must have added that recently. Yeah, that's it's that, fairly that new. Cube's awesome. We got one of those too. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna upgrade to the Cube. Give uh, Jack the Fire Stick, and then, um, but yeah, it's super cool, man. It's and now I think you can do your Apple TV on the Alexa now too. So it's it's basically making the Apple TV kind of obsolete a little bit. Unless you do your music through that, but I don't. I don't either. Um, but anyway, well, good. Well, I'm glad you guys they... uh, were able to watch it. Anybody? I mean, like, is so? It sounds like you guys. It's not like a movie that you did. That, it, did it hold up for them over? Yeah, the I mean, last how was years? it? Like, if, if you've seen it like a long time ago, when you watched it this time, did you laugh? Were you like, you know, what was it like? Eh. Oh, okay. She went <laughs> eh. Yeah, I... I don't think I laughed until uh, the Steve Buscemi uh, oh, the lipstick scene thing. Was... <laughs> oh my god, you guys, you guys need to watch this with me, and then you would laugh because I was already dying at the freaking suntan lotion thing. Like I'm already crying, laughing the whole time. You know, it's just like, oh my god, what day is it? September. <laughs> just like fucking amazing. Um, all right. Well, um, I'm glad you guys are here. Thank you for supporting our show. Won't keep you too long. I know you guys got fireworks to see, and uh, pr- we're probably going to be hearing them, by the way, while we're doing our thing. Yeah. Which uh, remind me to tell you about the house next door to me getting it's uh, getting a new roof put on it while I was trying to record an album this week. <laughs> uh, super super happy, Jarrett. <laughs> Very happy to be awake and not being able to record. Um, all right, guys. Well, let's play a game called Five Questions. Got John K- Gickler and Katie Morgan here. They are both our pa- par- uh, p- 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 they are both Patreon supporters and uh, happy that you guys are here. This is a game that we like to call Five Questions. It's where we ask you six questions, and the high score will most likely be six tonight. But uh, <laughs> I used to say, and the high score is seven, then we'll quit the show, and then... Uh, Rich started telling people in the room while I was doing my stuff to make up a check question. So let's just see where it ends up, guys. I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know what it takes to win this week. I just don't know. Everybody writing down this week? Uh, mm-hmm. No. Okay. I have paper, but no pencil. So. All right, here we go. So we'll go to Gickler first each time. You'll have to give your answer, and then Katie will show us what she wrote down. Uh, and uh, your first question is about the movie Billy Madison. In my opinion, that's right, in my Jarrett Reddick opinion, is shampoo or conditioner better? In my opinion, is shampoo or conditioner better? That's right. It's a uh, should be a pretty easy question for you, unless you don't know anything about hair product, which is fine. I understand <laughs> that, Sean. No, no, I'm, no, no, I'm no. not I'm, looking at you. I'm actually scratching my head. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought Sean was reaching up to see if he had grown any hair. No. I, did, I, was, I was just trying to figure out what was going. On. All right, John Gickler is my favorite shampoo or conditioner. I'm gonna go with conditioner. You went with conditioner and Katie Morgan. I know jack shit about hair products, so I wrote two in one. Oh, that is not one of the options. I'm sorry, I cannot give that to you. <laughs> the answer, of course, is shampoo. Yeah. That is right. Shampoo dries my hair out. Now? Oh, sorry. Shampoo dries my hair out and makes it stick up. Conditioner makes it fly away, and uh, so I don't condition very often. Really? But when I do, it, it then I get I get I get like regular guy hair, and I look really funny. <laughs> Uh, but yes, shampoo is the obvious choice. Well, luckily for you, uh, John Gickler, uh, Katie went off onto her own, nev- as if she's never listened to this show before, <laughs> as if I wouldn't give you an actual option as the que- <laughs> as the answer to the question. All right, it is zero to zero going into question number two. Question number two, of course, is about the movie Billy Madison. In the movie Billy Madison, we see a few different cast members from Saturday Night Live. Name two other cast members from Saturday Night Live that appear in the movie Billy Madison. 
two other cast members of Saturday Night Live that appear and actually have very big parts in the movie. If you watched it, <laughs> you should know this. I can see that Katie is still writing down because I can see the earpiece on her Sennheiser <laughs> gaming headset. That's right. And there she is. I can see her face again. That means she's yeah. done writing. I see that uh, John is drinking a uh, Trenta drink from Starbucks. Is that what that is? Yep. Yep. Tivana. I like those green teas. Unsweet. Unsweet. Do you want sweetener in that? No. That's why I didn't fucking ask for it. <laughs> All right. Uh, John Gickler, the two members of Saturday Night Live that you saw in the movie. Uh, Chris Farley and uh, Norm MacDonald. All right. He went Chris Farley and Norm MacDonald. Katie, what did you say? Same thing. You guys are both correct. <laughs> Norm MacDonald and Chris Farley. I would have also accepted something else, and, and you could have probably told me that I didn't see him in there, and I'd have probably let you go. With it. So, like, you, you could have probably said Kevin Nealon, and I'd been like, what? Was he in this? <laughs> Holy shit. All right. It is one-to-one -one going into question number three. Now, you guys are going to notice that it's really quiet tonight. Again, uh, Casey is not here. She's, She's never we have, here. We have no guests. Well, I know, but usually we have a guest in here. There's kids coming in and out. Everybody's gone to see the firecrackers. Oh. And, there uh, works. Huh? There works. Yeah. So you're this is gonna be like the easiest mix of all time for you. Like you're just gonna like turn it on and be like, holy shit, I'm not having. There's nobody breathing heavy into yeah. the microphone. Because I'm not gonna cut anything out from you, and I'm definitely not gonna cut anything out from me. No, are you There's kidding? Nothing to cut out. When when do we ever say anything that should get cut? <laughs> exactly. Ever. All right. Uh, question number three. It is one to one. This move. This will of course be about the movie Billy Madison. <clears throat> In Billy Madison, what grade does he get to? Before being sold out by the wrestler principal. What grade does he get to before being sold out to I don't even know this. The wrestler principal. It's right after the motherfucking montage. All right. Uh we will go, of course, to John Gickler first. What grade does he get to? Ninth. Okay, let's go to Katie Morgan. Uh Ninth, and I think it was right after he finished. Uh, it was actually it was actually during Four. ninth grade, uh, but but you didn't have to again, Katie. That wasn't part of the fucking answer. <laughs> I love you so much, but you both got it right. Okay, just stick to the choices. Give it. It's like it's like you're you in don't school. Don't know me at all. It's like you, trying you, to get extra credit. She gets like A, B, and C on a test at school, and she just writes in D. <laughs> yeah, like or like or like writes E on a C, stand but <laughs> you know, yeah. Exactly. Did you just oh, say C, that. but? <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's two to two. Going into question number four. You guys are both doing really, really great. Question number four. On the first day of school, what is it that Billy Madison throws a fit about not being in his lunch? What is it he wants in his lunch and throws an absolute fit about it to the maid that obviously he wants to do stuff to him? <laughs> but I think in just a playful way. You right? think? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Uh, what is it that he wants in his lunch, John? Uh, the pudding snack pack. Okay. And Katie Morgan, what did you say? Snack pack. That is absolutely correct. You're both correct on that. Good job, guys. It is a snack pack. Instead, the first day of school, he got a banana, tried to trade it for a snack pack, and then threatened a young boy. <laughs> <laughs> because he wouldn't give it to kid didn't even know how to eat without getting it all over his fucking face. And Billy Madison's just going to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, these movies these days. Well, this is 20 years ago. You could do that. You know, yeah. you could just beat the shit out of a kid back then. Yes. You can't do that anymore. That's no. just fucking, you know. I was about to go off on like this fucking crazy tangent. And, but I have had. About dropping babies. I've had about four <laughs> sips of beer over here because my, my stomach is all fucked up from today, which we'll talk about later. Um, or earlier. And I stopped about, I stopped myself. Stopped myself. <laughs> uh, which is probably good. Um, all right, guys. You guys are both kicking some fucking ass. We're going into question number five, and it is three to three. You guys um, are two of our strongest players ever right here battling it out to see who will be our, our uh, post-Fourth of July champion. Uh, here we go. Into question number five, <laughs> of course, in the movie Billy Madison. <laughs> I, just, I fucking lost. I like fucking had a question that I was gonna do, and then I fucking okay. In the movie Billy <laughs> Madison, they have a musical montage. The musical montage ends up with him asking you for something. 
What is it he asks you for? At the end of the musical, mo- not not the, no, not the musical montage, the musical performance, oh. the big Broadway number. Oh, the thing I skipped through. What is it? Yeah. That he had <laughs> that he asked you for. I can't believe you didn't use that as a clip, man. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite parts of any movie in the history of the world. I think it. Was- that was the best part of the movie. <laughs> I, I think it was too long. I can't oh, remember. Maybe could have been. All right, John Gickler. Any idea of what it is they ask you for? I can't remember. Katie Morgan. I believe it was more gum. Do you have any more gum? Katie Morgan pulls it out right at the end with a four to three lead going into Rich's bonus question. <laughs> Take it away, Rich. <laughs> All right. Your answer options are A. A tank. B, a skyscraper. C, the Pacific Ocean. Or D, all of the above. Your answer options are A, a tank. B, a skyscraper. C, the Pacific Ocean. Or D, all of the above. All right. Uh, we got to go to uh, John Gickler first because he is not writing his answers down. John, what was your answer there? D. He went all with the, all of the above. D, interesting. Okay. I'm sure that Katie is probably going to go with E or F. But let's <laughs> check in and see what it is uh, she I also put it D just he, because. That's strategic. Huh? Strategically put, chose put D. D as well. Okay, what is the answer, Rich? No, the question is. Oh, sorry. What is the question? The question is, other than a station wagon, Name something else that can't slip on a banana peel. <laughs> and the answer was? All of, it, all all of, of the above. above. All right, yeah. you both get it correct. That's right. Katie Morgan, we do not have a super hard bonus question this week. So John does not get a chance to steal, which means, oh, we do have one. Holy ah. shit. Hold the phone. Stop the fireworks. Call the fire engine. John Gickler, you do have a chance to steal. If you get this super hard question right from Sean, Silent Sean. If you can hear it. If you can hear it and you get it right, you win it all. If not, you're not a loser, but you did lose, right? All right. Let's go into go over to Silent Sean. Thanks, Jared. So, in the movie Billy Madison, the name Billy is said a lot, but how many times is Billy Madison said? Oh. Oh, wow. I'm going to go with three. Incorrect. Is it one? It's eight. Oh, it's eight. Uh, okay, wow. so I would have thought that that would have been more of like, a, like that's fucking a hard question. <laughs> it was. You know? <laughs> the will. Yeah, I mean, I know. Why were you counting that? Yeah, I know. I do know the one. I mean, like, because when she goes, oh, you must be Billy Madison or whatever, and, then, and you know, he's like. Oh, I didn't count. I fucking looked it up. Oh, you looked it up. <laughs> nice. Very nice. All right. Well, Katie does hold on to her lead. Very, very good match today, guys. Enjoy your 4th of July. Thank you so very much for supporting our show. And uh, we will see you guys soon. Be safe, you guys. Happy 4th. See you in uh, Tidley Park. Okay, see you then. And, Katie, I'll see you in Ohio. Bye, guys. Uh Well, this is great. When I graduated first grade, all my father did was tell me to get a job. Hey, you want to feed that donkey some beer? Get it all messed up? Maybe later. I'll go put some beer in a bucket. Okay. Hey there, Mr. Graduate. How's it going? Come on, kid. Get up. Get up. Get humiliating yourself. Get up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so fucking funny because the clown is dying and everybody just like, ah, (laughs) just clapping. This is the scene that weirded me out. Like when I first watched it the first time. Um, you know I got really like weirded that. out by this. I was like, what the fuck I watched is this movie going on? probably so 900 times because it was my brother's <laughs> favorite movie growing up. We watched it every day. I could say like every line from the beginning to the end like when I first started watching this. And I understand but why I didn't it's... remember 
Oh, you didn't remember? That he fell this early. I thought there were like a couple things that made him like, whoop, and then he fell. Like, I don't remember oh, this happening right. right off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it just the funny thing is, like, when they decided to bring it back, it's just even funnier. But, you know, after you said the thing about the dodgeball, then I'm sitting here watching this scene, and he's fucking dragging the kid during the thing. And then we've got the scene coming up where the kid's just getting squirted. There's a lot of child abuse on this. I yeah. wonder if there's a thing that's just like, no children like were harmed the in the making of this. Yeah, scene. but there's nothing about children. It's, yeah. it's the <laughs> Billy Madison rule in Hollywood. I guess so, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm... Exception. I think, but, but I mean, I guess basically it's like one of those things where if the, the kid's a paid actor and his parents say it's okay, fuck it, right? Yeah. You know, squirt him in the face. So I understand why this scene's in the movie, and I think, because Sandler started out his comedy career doing this sort of anti-comedy. Yeah. Where it's like, wouldn't it be funny to us in the writer's room if we didn't make this funny? Yeah. And we put, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I totally get that that's... The it just sort of I it lost it got lost on me. His was uh like you know he started out on that uh, game show Remote Control, and did you ever watch that on MTV? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and so he played a bunch of characters on that, and those characters always were really were like that, where it was like, is this funny or is it? But it was funny to him, like almost you know not Andy Kaufman, but that kind of thing where it's just more right. of like a like I'm gonna see how far I can push this. And just see if people think it's funny. Right, right. But this is fucking funny. Also, Rolex and the piana, <laughs> pinata, that shit's funny. You know? Gee, a Rolex! Why not? Thanks for the watch, Billy. Yeah, you're welcome. I was trying to tally that up in my head. this giant party every two weeks. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah, and it, but what's funny is, what's, what I liked about it is, is the kids from the previous grade always get invited. So if yeah. you're first grade class... Those kids yeah. are stoked. They party every two weeks. Yeah, like the principal's there the every yeah. other week. Cancel like... fucking vacation. You know what I mean? Like, we've got plans. You know? Sorry. I feel like small scale, like, this is how Rich thinks I am as far as, like, excessiveness on small things. Because every time he'd walk in for, like, a year, he'd be like, what's something. going on? Birthday. I'm, like, decorating the whole, the whole house. What's going on? First day of school. What's happening? Last day of yeah. school. What's yeah. happening now? And he's like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Like, this doesn't happen. I will tell you this. I um Valentine's Day. Yeah. It was a really weird thing because I had just never seen anything like it. And now it's just so awesome to see what she comes up with. Like, it, it, my, I don't even know how my children it, – it's weird. It's like they're, they're, they're star tests. They walk out, and it's like a oh, fucking yeah. – it's like brunch. Yeah. And, I mean, the whole bar is just covered with all this stuff, and then after they're done, they have presents and – I mean Valentine's Day and the, their birthdays and just I mean she's on their birthdays they walk out and there's fucking balloons hit them in the face like when they wake up like it's it's crazy and it's awesome. awesome. And you never go. Do we need to spend this much money? <laughs> Do you know what? I, I, I'm gonna tell you. I'll tell you. I'm like a, this is awesome, but I'll tell you. Do a, we have to spend this much money. I'll tell you a one hundred. She probably doesn't spend that much. Money. Okay, well, you know fair what? enough. That's fair pretty enough. Pretty good. Creative. But you know what? Uh, here's the thing. She doesn't spend money on really anything. She doesn't. She doesn't spend money on herself hardly ever. And I will tell you this. The other day, this is a true story. The other day, there's still a fucking box sitting there that has like a chocolate rose and a couple of other things, a Valentine's candy and some little fucking helicopter thing that'll probably never work or whatever. And I'm just like, do we need this? <laughs> and, uh, and, and I'm go, and she's like, yeah. Oh no, she goes, no, you can throw it out. And I go, what is this for? She goes, that was part of his Valentine's Day or whatever, whatever, but he doesn't even know it's there. And I go, well, did we need to buy it? Or she goes, there is one thing that you can never challenge me on. <laughs> this is my thing. <laughs> Throw it away, put the thing down, and move away. So, I, so I'm like, but we can keep the bucket, right? We can keep the bucket. We can <laughs> we use can, the same bucket next year. We can year. use save this the, next year. Save, save the cost on that $2 save bucket. Save a couple of bucks on this, but the other shit is in the trash. And you're right. And she is right. And they're 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 lucky, lucky, lucky children because I don't, you know, I don't have that in me. Like it'd just be either. like, here's a fucking Snickers, you know, yeah. it's like, satisfies. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. Smoke up, Johnny. <laughs> you know? Exactly. <laughs> So he's passed first grade and he's moved on to second. Whoopie doo. <laughs> Any more information, Rollo? Uh. Billy likes to drink soda. Miss Lippy's car is green. 
<laughs> he's so defeated, like the bad guy. So, de- and then I just love the the um his his um his intro into the whole movie was um you won't show him there's milk, and he goes, I believe that's the, the Veronica Vaughn goes, I believe that's that classroom's milk, where it could be our milk. And she's like, no milk will ever be our milk. And then he just looks like, <laughs> you want some of this milk sideburns? He goes, I'd rather have a beer. Like, it, that exchange is so great. Who keeps milk just sitting out in the middle of the hall? It's delivered that. at a certain oh, yeah. time. Actually, no, that happens at schools like I ours. Say, they I do will, that now. Yeah, it's their it's snack. It's a pitcher. Their snack shows up, and it's left outside the door because they don't disrupt the class. If they right. if they haul it in there, kids are like, snack! And like everything they're doing is fucking done. Yep. So they, when it's snack time, they open up the door. It's there. They wheel it in and they pass it out to. I'll her. pass on the hot milk, thanks. Um, oh, those you don't care when you're little. Milk. Yeah, I don't. I mean, that it just came out of their. You don't remember like a, you don't remember like a barely cold chocolate milk. It was fine. And warm milk puts you to sleep. Yeah, that's it's true. Like right before nap time, they do like, try to get like milk. heated up milk. Though. I'm feeling a little sleepy. It's not heated up milk. It's in the danger zone. It had just fucking got there. In the danger <laughs> that zone. Is, that is borderline safe zone. <laughs> that's what I call. Let it. Let me tell you something. Everything that anybody in this house has ever eaten has at least been on the counter for seven hours at some point, and everybody's been fucking fine. <laughs> you know, uh, and again, I know I talk about England all the time, but they don't put that shit in the refrigerator. Uh, that shit's just sitting out. I constantly come back at the end of the day, and I'm like, "Oops, forgot about the eggs and the milk and the cheese." He's <laughs> Fucking fine. Yeah, well, that is true. If if I I, make breakfast for Everett every morning, he's okay. If I sweep the kitchen, the shit goes up, but I don't catch it every day. But I do try to get the turkey bacon back in a baggie and into the refrigerator. Everybody's fine. Most days. The only time the turkey (laughs) bacon is not allowed in the regular fridge is after Jack uses it as a fish bait. I was was thinking about this with you guys, actually. I had this thought in my head because you guys are very tchotchke ish. Yeah. We got a bunch of shit in our house. We like shit. You don't notice when something is there that shouldn't be there because there's so much stuff no. around. Oh, no, no that's know. not true. We know. We and oh, we okay. both. Here, here's the thing. This is what's fucked up. We both have certain areas that drive us crazy. So I don't like things in a certain area to be messy, and she doesn't like certain things in another area to be messy. We've, I in the last six months of our marriage, mm-hmm. like after being together six plus years, mm-hmm. have kind of figured it out there's a couple of little things here and there but for the most part it's i keep the areas that she wants me to keep clean i keep clean the areas that she knows gives me anxiety she she takes care of that what are these areas i I don't want to talk about it right now i'll talk about it okay (laughs) go ahead so when you walk in we have that little art nook on the wall yeah Mm -hmm. and there's Uh that little ledge yeah he likes just like put things there like I don't know. What? Glue traps for rats. So when people walk in, they just see rat <laughs> glue traps, traps for and rats. a hammer and a box cutter. And oh. why would you put it there when you got a pool table to put it on? <laughs> well, what happens is is they just leave them on the door, and so the packages that get delivered each day usually go on that little bench, or whatever. You can see down there right now that Casey has some boxes that she needs to take care of because that's her shit. Mm. But actually, the toilet paper came in and fucked it all up. So now I'm going to end up having to yeah, take care of it. Mine. And that's fine. Uh, the f- Insta food shit. And then um, oh, yeah, that. the Father's Day boxes I are still I thought you there. guys were playing a game on me when I came in. That was a game on you. That no, was that was, that was Everett. Yeah, so he Everett built, built a, a wall. So he, he built a tower. So yeah. the <laughs> toilet paper and the paper towels came in. So he took them out of the box and built a wall so that Sean couldn't get past no. it. <laughs> He's been hanging out with Rich too long. He started right. fucking ah, balls all over the place. That's my boy. So the spelling bee happens, and I fucking love his voice during this because he like goes into child at a spelling bee character. Uh, so yeah. it's just like, what's the word he gets? He gets uh, it was uh, bath, and then it was uh, no, she got bath. She no, got no, bath. I'm talking about in order. So no. it was bath, and then he got um, couch. No, no, no couch no. was last. Yeah. He got um, cheese. Yeah, he got cheese. 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 Yeah. So he just goes, cheese, C-H. And he's just like, he sounds like a little kid in a spelling bee. Yeah. And then he's like, are you going, going to, to the mall, mall later? later? <laughs> no, I am not going to, to the mall later. Please continue. That See, even you counted. think that's funny. That's hilarious. Guys, do you guys know how I got out of the spelling bee in the uh, fourth grade? You misspelled being something? At, being bad at an spelling. R? No, this is so bad, guys. I just got in a hurry, and my fucking word was caveman. Oh no! And I went. Oh, not like got out of it, like got kicked out. First round, kicked, knocked eliminated. out. Eliminated. I go, 
C A V M A N E. Oh. And I go, no, instantly. And I'm like, ah, I got in a hurry. Damn it. Were your parents there? No, Mine but then I walked. Either. I walked into the. Uh, they had all the fourth, fifth, and sixth graders that were fucking dumbasses, and and so I'd go in there. And Robbie Ferguson, who was a year older, was like, "You misspelled caveman," <laughs> and like the whole fucking fourth, fifth, and sixth grade at that point are just like, "Wow, what a dipshit." I thought she said calf mane. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it! You didn't say calf mane. I thought you did say calf. What calf was the mane. origin of the word? <laughs> yeah, I know. use it what in is, a sentence. What is the origin of the word? I don't know. Post gorilla. I think something? I did a couple of just like regular. I don't even think I ever. I can't visualize. I'd say it was always middle of the road. On the I can't things. visualize anything in my head like that i can't nope. do numbers or letters in my head either there it's just a foggy <laughs> mess never in a spelling uh, ever le- mm. letters yeah, I, I can't write, i have to write things down me too letters yeah. i can't numbers i can do okay uh not like anything crazy not like a, a kid these days but um our kids are never going to be able to spell because they all have spell check you don't have to do anything anymore emma can fucking spell you can oh fucking... jack reddit can spell you get close though like yeah. you're not going to ever have to like Doing yeah, it. I misspell things on purpose just to make sure I'm spelling it correctly. Yeah, I've done the same, same thing. Yeah. with like predictive text. On what your are phone? the words that you guys have either made yourself learn or that you still spell incorrectly every time? Restaurant. Restaurant same. is a, is a hard one, but I think I have finally got it down because we've talked about it so much. Yeah. I kind of hyper focused okay. on it, one. and I figured it out. I think. Do you know what mine is that yeah. I fucking can't spell? Counselor. Oh no! I fuck up calendar all the time. Calendar, like same. Cal- Cal- no, I got calendar down from the. I used to the... misspell friends all the time, so now it's friends. Oh, but that's <laughs> I before E. No, no but I before E is a lie. There's so many words. Yeah, there's so many words. Okay, um, so convenient. Um, uh, 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 conscience. Mm. Conscience, oh, I know yeah. that. I know that one. But uh, is that conscience? Yeah, pretty much. And then, um, but there's there's a couple of similar words that are all spelled s- similarly. Tomorrow but fucks counselor me up a lot. Counselor, counselor and... fucks me up. Tomorrow, um, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, conscience is kind of hard. Wednesday. I just have always said Wednesday. 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 Yeah, I just Wednesday. Have Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, okay do you know how to do conscience easily? Is it con science? Yeah. It's con science. Okay, but there's something that's very similar to it though. That that I that I get them confused or conscious. something. Conscious, conscious is is con. S C I O U S. Yeah, conscious. see that? Yeah. yeah, so I get those two all fucking. I can see that. Up. That seems like I could fuck that up, but I have autocorrect, so fuck it. <laughs> well. It does tell Jared to duck off a lot, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you tell Harry to duck off, so. Harry uh... or Janet? <laughs> Harry. Oh, because Janet. it doesn't do Jared. No, my, no. no. always is Harry. Always is yeah, Harry. Yeah, my, my, everybody. It He's comes Harry up. Reddick, and I'm uh, Casey Yang. <laughs> Yang. <laughs> yeah, the Harry thing is weird. Um, and uh, because <clears throat> you're not even hairy, that's what's weird. Yeah, but I Sorry, guess I don't. should be. Oh, nope. I guess I should be. You uh, know, now that I you're mean, white again. Yeah, now that you're white again, know. it's all going to start happening. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, so I'm meeting a bunch of my family tomorrow. I'm just going to be looking at everybody's arms, like <laughs> you're you going to shake your... their hand and then just pull it in. Yeah, you got hair in your arm. Check it out. Whatever. Check it out. What's going on over there? Oh, so you haven't met everybody? I've met my sisters. I've met a couple of my nephews. I've met uh, one of my nieces. Um, but not your dad. And my t- my dad passed away four five years four oh, year, four man. years ago. So um, well, he got out of that. But I did meet him once. I just didn't know I was meeting him. It's a whole thing. Wait, what? <laughs> so my dad came to a bowling for soup show. Biological dad. Biological. F- because father. he knew. Uh yeah. Ah. And met me backstage because he owned a radio station. And uh, interesting. And uh, yeah. Anyway, he got to see me on top of the world. I set the record for yeah, the most people. Yeah, shook his hand, said hi, and didn't even. He told me that uh, he'd like to have me at the station sometime. And of course, I Jared him the shit out of him. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, that'd be great. You know, and then like never and, uh, him. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I mean, you know, it probably was never gonna happen. But I mean, his memory of me s- is that yeah, I was really nice, and you that's know, cool. You know, all that. And you know, you, again, do you remember him? No. Oh, okay. I mean, that was a crazy night. You never night. knew it happened until recently. No, it was, there were 13,000 people well, at this little amusement. Who did he tell park. to tell you that story? Family members No, he time. told family members over time that once, know that story. Once they story. got in contact his, with him, his that sister, story had been like a thing. His sister knows the story. Because um, a few family members knew about me before he passed away. Gotcha. But until his his wife, my sister's mom, passed mom, sister's mom passed away, I wasn't really known to anybody. And now 
it's kind of all out there. Got it. But anyway, lots and lots of time to discuss that. We'll all do right. a whole. We'll do a special on that. I'll tell all you right. the whole fucking story sometime. All right. But until then. Veronica yeah, Vaughn. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Vaughn. We're going to start today by reading together a short story entitled My Sister Fanny. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Okay, so let's all open up our reading is fun books to page 69. 69. <laughs> Class, <clears throat> say hello to Billy Madison. Hello, Billy Madison. Billy is a nuisance. He will be gone in two weeks. I apologize for this inconvenience. Jeez, what's up her butt? What was that, Billy? I said reading is good. Can we start the story now? That was a joke that I did not get when I was younger at all. Oh, the 69? Oh, really? No, I was just I thought you were just being stupid, like making another joke. I'm like, <laughs> that's the page number. Well, yeah, this movie came <laughs> out when she page was number. three years old. Uh, but you... we watched it constantly. I mean, whenever I was probably, I don't know, 10. Well, they probably changed it on um, TBS. It was probably like no, 72. We had, we had the movie. We watched it over and over uh, and over again all the time. But I just didn't get that joke, clearly, because I shouldn't have. Correction, you were five. Like whenever Sean asked our five-year-old if he was drunk the other day. <laughs> well, Your was Your five-year-old was drunk? Sean goes, I don't know what Everett did. Probably something fell. I don't know. He goes, what are you drunk? And Everett just goes, what is drunk? And I'm just like, way to go, Sean. <laughs> yep, handle that yourself. Awesome. How about the grabbing by the ear thing? I never had that done to me. I was wondering the exact same thing. Does that hurt? Yeah. Oh, it fucking hurts. It hurts and it doesn't I mean, like, work. I've like by the lobe or the top. You so, grab by the top, but you I know tried it to only do that with my son of... once. What? It just didn't work. What'd you do? I tried to do the ear thing with this with my son one time. Right. It so just doesn't he, work. Is it because he's bigger yeah. than you? No, he was. I mean, it was he was fourteen. I just or whatever. that's just a grab him by the ear and he looks. Just grab him by the ear and he just goes. Doing? Ah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, he should know. It only takes seven pounds of pressure to pull an ear off. It's real easy. Oh really? So well, I didn't. Yeah. I wasn't like pulling still. on it. Wow. I just no, figured you, if you yank them down, they just come off really easy. Did MythBusters oh, do stop that? Stop doing that. No, but I don't I, even want to think about it. They fucking. What do you mean they just come? Yeah, no, like your ear is made to just like rip, rip away. Rip right off. No, yeah. stop, stop. No, it does. Like Change the subject. Little, like a pull tab, like, uh, a, little, like yeah. Velcro. Remember, like a, like a post-it. Remember just, in that like one movie where the guy's it. ear got cut off uh, and they Van showed Go. it. Yeah, hey, uh, but we get one of the most famous lines ever from this uh, from this one from this movie, and a lot of people fuck it up and think that Chris Farley said it. Oh, but no. So pretty. Want to touch the hiney? So hot. Uh, oh. Yeah, so hot. Yeah, that's right. I fucked it up. It's okay. So hot. Want, Want to, to touch, touch the hiney? Ow. Ow. I never heard of it. <laughs> uh, so then, th then we get the, the another interaction with the uh, with with his maid, and he's just like, "I'm just so depressed." He goes, "Want me to take my shirt off for you?" <laughs> I, I fucking love it. All right, let's talk about this. Who knows how to make a cursive Z without looking? I think I could do it. You know, I can. Mm -hmm. I can do it for sure. Yeah. Because I told you today. I already knew. I quizzed you on it, You were Casey. not quizzing me. Well, you told me like a three with a thing. I know how to make it, but I... I... And then whenever I showed you the picture, you were like, oh. I keep making Don't a Y with a like loop. like you knew. I definitely knew. You did no, not you know. Go, I did know. It's like a little, like a little, like a little three down, with a little with a tail. Yeah, a little loopy tail. It's like a big it's a, sort it's, of in the, with a little... Half the three is below the line, J. though? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it's like this. And then you loop it back up. Okay. All right. Well, I didn't know. Roroto. Well... I did know. Nope, I'm putting my foot down on this one. I literally learned. Because you can do this too. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I do it. Uh, wait, principal... wait, speaking of cursive, can we talk about what you did to Riley's check? <laughs> oh man, this is a good one. Should I? Did we give her a new check today? No, I didn't see Riley today. That no. was Ryan. I was supposed to give her a new one, but she never told yeah, us. Yeah, I. Uh... So, do you want to tell her? No, you can tell it. Yeah, I don't care. Go ahead. No, you, you do. You're on a. You're tearing me up on this bit anyway. So go ahead. I don't know how to make a cursive Z, and here's a thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll drink some beers. Check my phone. So, uh, Ryan, the intern's sister, has been babysitting for us a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ryan's going to college, you know. So she babysat for us. I don't know. Probably a trivia night or something. We got home. We had had some drinks. Jared had a little more than I had had <laughs> to what? drink. And I said, okay, here's the deal. Go inside, write her the check. I'm just going to take her home with the golf cart. Everything's fine. Like, you just go to bed or whatever. 
that was like a while ago. I don't know, maybe a couple weeks. She sends me a text message yesterday and goes, hey, and I see it on my phone first. So I don't have the picture. I just have the text. Hey, uh, the bank said I can't cash this check because blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what is she talking about? (laughs) She goes, because the number wasn't written in word. It was written in number. He literally wrote in like the line where you're supposed to type like write out (laughs) O-N-E. H U N D R E D dollars. He just wrote the he wrote one zero zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote out the dollars, but wrote a hundred, and then wrote a hundred in the thing. And she tried to like cash it, and they wouldn't do it at the bank. And I was like, but before I picked it up, I was like, fuck, because I've written her a bunch of checks too. I'm like, what did I do wrong? But it was him. Wait, are you one paying a hundred dollars for a night of babysitting? Because I need her money. Babysit- no, we owed her money for that, and then and then something else. Actually, yeah, so I think it was, it was like a couple zero of days. zero. D O L L A R S. Um, and, but, I'm so gonna be don't honest. Don't tell me you've been doing cursive for a long time because you've sure been writing checks longer than me. I, um, Ugh. I don't know if that's my true, hand, actually. My hand falls off before I can finish writing on the check. So I, um, yeah, because I just don't fucking write. It just cramps up and, like, yeah. does this. Yeah. I do the same thing. I don't Ugh. write anything anymore. Yeah, so same. even if I have to, I'm just like, it hurts. It yeah. totally hurts. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I sweet. can get through my signature and then. Uh, Anything after a signature, and I can't do it. Before anymore. I finish this, uh, I, I, would, I got to tell your UPS lady story the other day, and it fucking killed. Um, so, oh, uh, my yeah. Amazonian woman? That was good. Yes. And, uh, but anyway, so I didn't, I didn't even, at first when I look at the 100 and then dollars written out, I'm like, the fuck's wrong with that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sitting there like, I don't There's get it. There's writing on it. And then once I got it, it became... I mean, we must have laughed about it for 20 minutes, oh and then God. we would, like, start laughing again. <laughs> we like, rethink about it. I'm yeah. like, one zero zero dollars. Dollars That's written amazing. out. Yeah, I don't even know if I know how to spell dollars. <laughs> Do it now. You did a good job. Uh, D-O-L-L-A-R-S. Yay. Um, yeah. Principal Anderson. Uh, poor Principal Anderson. You I know, hate he, him. He gets the note passed up, and then he did the note is so mean. It's like... Good thing we have Principal Anderson. He's all happy. Calls him a fat ass and then tells him to walk out into traffic and shit. It just, it's so fucking mean. Did you ever yeah. get a note read in front of the class? Uh, no. Yes. I I yes. had one uh, passed to me that got read to the class, and it was fucking amazing. A love note? What was it about? Rich. It was about love, Amy. Oh, both of you. Were you passing notes to each other? <laughs> We may be now. Yes. We've and been so through a it, lot today. Go ahead. What was it? To you. Mine was just, I think it was me to my girlfriend. Check yes or no? So you wrote my it. My girlfriend. Yeah. I think so. And then she read it out in class and it was just like so embarrassing. She had to read it out? We had a no, teacher. No, the teacher read it out loud. Jesus. We had a teacher with a no exceptions policy. She didn't care what was on it. She had a bulletin board and she posted them on there. So every kid that was in and out of the class got to read them. And this boy that I broke up with. Just don't a sign note, it, and it's fine. I didn't even know that he had even opened it, and I like went into the class later, and it was like up on the board. I was like, Ugh. "This is the thing. You can't do that anymore, though, because no. kids fucking say some They'll crazy sue shit." You. Well, You'll yeah, their moms will come now. up there. No, I was like, nice. I was like, "It's not you. It's me." Yeah, that's seventh not good. grade. They've only seen each other two times in the halls. So it's <laughs> Valentine's Day, and then uh, he's he's got like all the girls are in love with him, you know, because he's a man <laughs> with facial hair. You know? <laughs> that's why I said it's like our age difference. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then uh, Principal Anderson, we find out, wants him, and and he's horny. Uh, is that door opening right now? Or is it just the... No, it's probably not. It's fine. Um, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, ten, or eleven. It's the Richter scale again. The girl in this movie. What's her name? Uh, Veronica Vaughn. Okay. I can wait till you're done texting. Dude, Bridget don't Wilson. even. <laughs> fucking don't even. You have like, you have three things in the show you're supposed to do. Like, I fucking try to talk to you halfway, half the fucking time, and you're not even I told you, to. I pay attention 90% of the time. Jesus Christ. Because you're talking 90% of the time. I'm Bridget only Wilson. Why didn't you do this during the Shawshank Redemption? I was wondering. There's no girls in it. <laughs> but still. Oh, yeah. Not even Good one. Point. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, ten, or eleven. It's the Richter scale again. Seriously, what's her name? Bridget, Bridget Wilson Sampras. It's not Brigitte. It's Bridget. it's Bridget. Okay. Don't try to church it up. Hair. <laughs> Hair, seven. Eyes, seven. Nose, five. Mouth, nine. Face, six. Arms, seven. Boobs, four. Waist, nine. 
ass eight leg seven overall i give her a seven i wasn't really super impressed by her riches body shaming total of I, nine 6.9 i'm surprised by that mm. i think i really think that she's really really pretty and like i like, think what's she's, wrong with her I nose thought and about her mouth this as i was watching it I'm yeah like, oh her mouth i thought nine. he was gonna love her too i really thought she would be like on the same level brown eyes i thought yeah, she'd she be eyes. on the okay. same <laughs> level as like the marcia brady girl the one that no, God no. To me, like, Marsha I, Brady is insane. I get them mixed up. No, this girl is not all yeah, that great. I'm, she has weirdness in her somewhere. I don't know. Sometimes, Ew. sometimes, <laughs> like what, like a like an avocado? Or... I don't know. <laughs> like what do you, so like, like, what do you mean weirdness? Avocado. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, literally, we could go anywhere with this. It doesn't take much to get weird in you. I know. It just like her face was kind of like like. I don't know. Just, just stop. Some, I don't know. Just yeah, quit. It doesn't done. work. It just let's, doesn't work. Let's move on. Jesus Christ. Except for, for Pete Sampras. Um, this one. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Ask her. Ask her if she likes anybody from class like more than a friend. Um, this one. Do you uh, like anybody in class more than a friend? Just do it! Um, this one, would you, uh, ever go out with anybody from class? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You see, Ernie, grown-ups like to go out with other grown-ups. What about Billy? You're more of a grown-up than Billy. I'll give you a grown-up. <laughs> Nothing. Um, see you tomorrow in class, Miss Vaughn. You blew it! Man, that poor kid cannot act. Well, guess what? This is the last thing he ever did. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> poor yeah. kid. He was in like some movie in like the '93 that I don't think did anything, and then this. I mean, he is bad from the opening. You know, like you know, like you know, cool out, dude, or whatever his first line was. I mean, just bad from the beginning. It's and tough the with kids. Pants, everything. But that's the thing is, there is a pool of kid actors that are brilliant that they have to pick from. But I mean, I guess they just don't want to spend the money. But. but he was so cute. And maybe he knew somebody, he you know. Cute. Like Adam Sandler puts his kids in the fucking movies now. Does he? They just look like little oh, Adam yeah, Sandlers and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Do they? Yeah. That sucks. Uh, two, two phones on the same phone line? Kids don't know what that is. Not anymore. No. No. That was a They're thing. Like, how do you talk on the same remember trying phone to pick call? The, remember trying to pick that up without anybody knowing that you were oh, on yeah. it? Oh, yeah. You know? All the time. Yeah. 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 Did you ever figure it out what you did? Yeah, you gotta slip your finger and like push the thing down whenever you pick it up. Well, if it was a numbered phone, you could push two numbers at the same time and pull it up, and then you release. No, because that's too dangerous. You might go. If it goes, if it goes, you're fucked. Yeah. No, I was good at it. But it was good. Yeah. And then she's right. You 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 hold the thing down and then you slowly bring it up. Slowly. Yep. But it's still. I had my method. You had yours. Okay. (laughs) Your method was fucking crazy. Made a lot of prank calls. Listen to a lot of conversations. Sean doesn't even know what we're talking about. No. Oh, wait. (laughs) I'm like the third oldest in this room. Oh, that's right. Yeah, what are you talking about? I forgot about you. He knows prank calls. Maybe it was just being silent. Yeah, I had a phone with a cord. I understand the concept. How about uh, the... I thought the throw the sandwich at the bus driver was amazing because that (laughs) is something that would happen on that fucking trip for sure. (laughs) 100%. 100%. You know what the problem with the field trip was? There weren't enough chaperones. That's right. You got to have some parents there. And most of the time, like the fucking... Yeah, but back then it was like one to 400. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Things you wouldn't get away with now. Yeah. Dare you touch your boobs. Can't do that, buddy. It's assault. Yeah. Or okay, fine. I'll do it. Like, you can't yeah. do that anymore. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, her line to like coming away from that was actually really uncomfortable. She goes, well, you're not the first... You're, and you're not the first one to try to touch my chest. And I was like... I don't you. know if that's really how you follow that up. No. <laughs> yeah, maybe. At yeah. this point, like I used to like love them, but like in modern days, like all I just would assume is like she fucking googled them. She found out what the dollar amount that's was, it. and she's totally. In. Oh man, we just like night and day. It's like I hate you, I hate you. All of a sudden, I'm coming oh, to your house, trying to rescue you. People all for... the time on buses. It's fine. So Chris Farley comes into the movie, and I have to tell you guys this. This this sort of brings up some some a a, a part of my life. That I, um, you know, that I don't normally share. 
with people. Oh, and I'll let you guys know. You know, as Chris Farley was in the Shit. movie, it got me to thinking about, you know, uh, what you know what's happening in the world, and uh, you know, and and obviously I get recognized a lot. Uh, cause I, I, I witnessed that Sunday. I am famous as shit. Uh, I love it. It's great. Uh, <laughs> however, sometimes I get recognized as the wrong person. Oh, that could happen. And uh, it used to be Johnny Knoxville. For some reason, people thought I looked like Johnny Knoxville. I was that skinny. Is not I really, I, it's weird. There's some pictures, whatever. I used to get told that all the time. Uh, but I've gone from Johnny Knoxville to Chris Farley. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to say this. But he's I, dead. And everyone knows it. Well, there's You're no. Back. There's no way I look like him now, <laughs> you know, or that he looks like me anyway, I'll tell you that. Uh, but I will say, uh, it's not my favorite of transitions. Oh, no. You know, that I've got. You know, And plus, to me now... Chris Farley's way funnier than Johnny Knoxville, though. The guy I thought you were going to say that him. I'm I like, thought yes, you, this is not... No, I thought no. you were going to say that, too, actually, and, and I uh, and I would have to give it to you. I mean, you know, he's uh, Wait, it's obviously... Chris Farley. But I didn't say Chris Farley. You know, but I don't see him here every week, so... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe fucking throw me a bone here. He doesn't have any hits. Uh, <laughs> he took a lot of hits. <laughs> yeah, he get it. Ding, ding, ding. And he's dead. <sighs> he died, and I look like him now. So um, wait, but I feel like Conspiracy. what it is. I feel like it's when my hair is like sticking up. Like maybe I just look like that scene in Tommy Boy where he's like, he he's he's just up. he sticks his hair up for no reason. Uh, like yeah. I'll just start wearing a rugby sweater now and just fucking accept it. <laughs> You know, no, like, that's just like a thing that happens though. Like I used to get different suit. people. And now people are like, do you know who you look like? And I'm like, oh god, don't tell me. Yeah. Who? Who did people say that you look like? Before or now? Just any. Like any, back in the day, person. it was always like somebody pretty, like that girl from Evanescence with the blue eyes and the black hair, or that person, or this person. Now everyone's like, oh, what is it? Maybe Adele. I don't know. And I'm like, <laughs> like the eyeliner and stuff. Like it's never, it's never the same. Yeah. Rich, yeah. do you have a doppelganger? I don't yes, think I. T- oh my god! Oh my god! I have you to know? Show you. I have oh, to show Casey. You. No, you're you not gonna approve of it. But you don't oh, have a well. Facebook, so you didn't see this. Oh yeah. Here. Don't don't uh, worry, because Chris Farley is more attractive than this dude. Here we go. <laughs> I showed you this. I know. I'm just. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's you got hilarious. tagged. You got tagged in this the other day. Who's that? Who is that? Some dude just ran into the sky and decided it looked like you. It really does look like you. Okay, dude. I get a lot. Oh, I, I get a lot this? of this kind of thing, it? where it's just like a random yeah, dude. Random I did dude. See that. Yeah, yeah, random dude. I mean, I mean that I don't dude. Look anything oh, like that guy? But me. anyway, I think he oh. looks like. Oh. I thought you did. Does that work? Oh, kinda. It looks like Jared Back Spear. Up. First of all. <laughs> okay, now like they Jared can see. Spear. You don't look like Jared Spear, but you know what? Jared Spear is a changeling. <laughs> I, I never looks the same. I know. Like now that he's like shaving and getting haircuts and stuff, honestly, I think that guy could walk up to me and punch me in the face, and I wouldn't know who it was. I just only thing that would if he's like this fucking it little back to caveman, the little fucker that from uh, yeah. from from Georgia. I'd just be <laughs> like, he hey man, up are your you Jared Spear? What the fuck? <laughs> he likes it. I make little people jokes about him because he's the same height as Tom Cruise. Uh, what? All right. I got Russell Crowe recently. And I'm thinking, oh, Gladiator? And I'm like, it's yeah. probably not Gladiator. It's probably the guy from The Informant. <laughs> he was all bloated, <laughs> fat. <laughs> so, like, oh, that guy? No, oh, thanks. Which one was it? I don't know. They didn't say. They just said, you look like Rose Crow. So how about the, uh, someone stole all the lunches. <laughs> Who would steal 22 sack lunches? And they're just out there just laughing. Eating and eating and <laughs> but the old lady who has two of the best lines in the movie, she goes, you know who it was? It's that damn Sasquatch. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Explain the joke to me. Well, the Sasquatch stole the lunches. And she's like a crazy didn't. old lady. Yeah, that's why it's funny. No, lady. that's why it's she's a crazy old lady that's at a fucking place. The whole point of this, the reason why this is funny is they take kids on these field trips to places that none of these fucking kids want to go. Oh, yeah. You know, like, so you get six field trips in elementary school, five, six field trips in elementary school. Two of them are cool. The rest of them are dog shit. <laughs> you know, like, uh, Jack got to go to Austin. I went. He rode in the bus. We went down there, sang Phineas and Ferb to him on the way back. Wasn't there anything cl- closer than Austin that could have been basically the same thing? Well, it's the Not state the capital. capital of oh. the state. So um, I was hoping you wouldn't say Didn't state capital. Yeah, cause... I mean that was kind of the point, but uh, that's Can't all right. You take him to the state capital. 
Yeah, but why well, it was a field trip. It? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not sure. Like, yeah, I, when you do these arguments, it's where I just, I just wonder. Like, it just well, seems like a big expense. I understand, but I just do wonder. Like, what the fuck is wrong yeah, with of you? Of course, he can. The school decided to do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a. It's, I know, it's but a I'm paying expense, for that. But, no, the, no, the, my my property taxes are sky no, high because you, I got to take your fucking kids to Austin. That you is absolutely not trips. true. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't you have that is not true. That yeah, no, they have, have to no, sell have to... shit to go to go do it, and then you pay for your child to go or whatever. Oh, so they come to my door and I have to buy shit from them. You don't have to. Yeah, I don't answer the door. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you need. So a... it's literally not affecting you at all. And you can't so, find you're... a loophole. So let's yeah. approve right. the fucking podcast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's richest deal? I had an accident. You had an accident? What does that mean? Goo! <laughs> oh, I know. Okay. Uh, I laughed at that, by the way. Yeah. Don't worry, buddy. You hang tight. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, look, everybody. Billy peed his pants. Of course I peed my pants. Everybody my age pees their pants. It's the coolest. Really? Yes! You ain't cool unless you pee your pants. Wow. Hey, man. Ernie pees pants, too. All right. <laughs> if peeing your pants is cool, consider me Miles Davis. <laughs> oh, that was the grossest thing I've ever heard in my life. Let's go! There she is. How is that not fucking funny? That scene was funny. I mean, we fucking... That's a Bowling for Soup thing from way back. Like, we've been saying that literally since our band started. <laughs> I've told you this story before. Uh, <laughs> my fraternity brother, Randy Rogers, he's a Sigma Chi. I'm a Sigma Chi. Yeah. Um, we were at a football game. And we were in the bathroom, and he came over to me. He's like, dude, I fucking peed all over my pants. Oh, I got like, the fly I, up there. And then I fast. tried to like wipe it off with water, and now it's look to the, it's like it's just all oh, just a big <laughs> sopping mess. <laughs> and he asked me to do that, so I put it all over mine, and we all walked out like it was a big joke That's or something. So but sweet. yeah, well, everybody who's cool. Yeah, I I succumb to peer pressure pretty. Good for you. Nah, then. you're being a fucking friend. Plus, that's funny, and you got the story to tell now. <laughs> you just well, tell everybody you're Miles Davis. Yeah. Yeah. Or Randy Rogers. He's <laughs> that a would great, be funny. He's a great country singer. <laughs> yeah. Randy Who? Rogers. Oh, is he? <laughs> is that not the same no, Randy Rogers? Same yeah. I played celebrity baseball with the uh, Randy Rogers country singer. He's the only person on both teams that wore real baseball pants. <laughs> True story. Um... So this is where we get uh, Chris Farley's big line, which is the, uh, and this exchange is just so good. As he's getting on the bus, he's just like, that Veronica Vaughn is one piece of ace. I know from experience. And uh, and then he's like, no, you don't. And he's like, yeah, but I know a guy who did. They got it on. Right? <laughs> you didn't laugh at that? Mm -mm. Chris Farley just being so fucking funny? Mm -mm. Well, anyway. <laughs> It's just hard with that, you know. Anyway, so. But I'm laughing at you. Good, great, <laughs> awesome. Everybody on the bus. No yelling on the bus. And I fucking look like Chris Farley now. God damn it, son of a bitch. <laughs> Veronica Vaughn brings him the snack pack. I think that was a, a great gift. I think at this point, who she's, is Veronica Vaughn? She's the teacher. Oh. She's known him now about two weeks. Starts out hating him. He's literally done nothing but be a dipshit. And uh, now she wants him to put the pudding on her. Now right. they're in love. And now they're in love. Yeah, because he peed his pants. Well, everybody who's cool is peeing their pants. Yep. I thought we just went over that. It no? Into that. Yeah. So the, I thought that the tent outside was cool, you know, because he's out there to study fifth grade. <laughs> you know, like trying to keep up. He's roughing out there, it. You know, it, yeah, roughing it. The, the, there's the porta potty that's out there. Um, and uh, then, then we get a motherfucking montage. So he goes through fourth, fifth, and sixth grade really fast. Moves on to junior high. Yeah. Uh, ends with him uh, making out with a photo of Veronica Vaughn at his desk, which is fucking weird. No one has ever done that. No one has, and especially uh, done the make out with the photo and squeeze the pretend booby. Right. And plus he was squeezing way too much. It wasn't that right. much. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. one can drink. <laughs> I mean, it was a daydream. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so it's supposed to be little. Hey, I don't. Uh. <laughs> it's not a. It's not 
like a breast exam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Uh, so remember, like, let's talk about little kid things that you do. Like, so this kid is burping the ABCs, right? But do you have the kid in, in class that could turn his eyelids inside out? Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah, then, uh, like, the first kid that had, like, the double-jointed fingers. or is That it, was can, me. Can you do that? Like, well, which one? No, stop. No, no, no. The, oh, thing. okay, y'all can all do that. Like, oh, okay, bit. that's great. You are so grossed out today I by I don't stuff. like things on bodies doing things this they're not is, supposed to this do. This is what you're afraid of? What? Weird. Yeah. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah. Yeah, do the fingertip thing. Okay. Now, there's a thing you can do with your thumb, and this you can no knock that out. Yeah. Yeah, see, look how fucked up that is. I'm that not is, gonna do it. That is crazy. It's all right. He's gonna have to edit the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't edit the video. Thank God. <laughs> what are other fucked up things though that kids? Oh no, I'll tell you this. This fucking David Smith in the, uh, uh, he was a fourth grader. He got held back. Uh, no, in fifth grade he got held back. And, he, and uh, so we used to sit. So the troughs, the P troughs at Cunningham Elementary, there were three of them. They were probably like six, eight foot long, and they were all on one wall. So you would stand at one end and see how far you could pee. We'd have like pee contests, right? Mm -hmm. Just piss everywhere, and this is what we did all the time. And uh, essentially, you, you're just trying to figure out like how much of it to cut off to see if you can get the stream going, but also push at the same time, but also not pee downward. Because if you squeeze too much of it off, it's going to go on your shoe or your knee, okay? Okay. I didn't understand this at the time. I didn't know why it worked like this. But he could hold the end of his, and it would blow up like a balloon. And then he could oh, squeeze no. it, and it would, psh, like, gush out. And then he would squeeze it again, and he, psh, it would gush out. And I didn't realize what that was until, like, I was in college. That doesn't sound healthy. And he, it's because he was uncircumcised, and oh. I had never seen one of those before. And he would wait, hold wait. it. So he'd pull the the He would hold the skin, the, skin, the foreskin. And he'd skin. pinch it off. And, and just he'd pee inside, inside the foreskin. Inside of it and just let it blow up. Oh. And he called it doing his ball. <laughs> like, doing a his like a water balloon. Like a water balloon, yeah. No. And it looked like a deflated water balloon when it was oh, done. No. You know what I mean? And it, but it, it, you know the funny thing about that kind of shit is, is that like that's like gleeking. I could never gleek, and I was like, I want to be able to do that thing right. that he can do with his ding ding when he pees. But, but I in could, your mouth. But I could what? But in no, your mouth. That, no, these are two <laughs> two separate things. I wanted to learn how to do. Like I mean, I'd be like practicing. Like I'd try to pull my foreskin up, and like, and I just didn't understand why he could do it, and I couldn't. Right. But I could never gleek. What's something else? Like I can gleek. You, you can, can still. Mm -hmm. I could never. Oh. oh. There it is. Yeah, I can. I mean, have man. you asked Lewis from the Dolly Rot to do it for you? To do his ball? No, yeah. I haven't. Oh, okay. No, I could try that though. I could see. I mean, I don't know. Would oh, it the work? guy from Patent Pending? What's his name? A Patent Pending? Is there an uncircumcised one? I don't know. I no simple plan. Half. Simple plan. Yeah, half of them are half of them. Half of them. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll try that on work. Okay, we'll cool. see what happens. I'll All report right. back. All right. Uh, but there's nothing else. Like that's it. Just like fucked up shit the kids do. All right. <laughs> Um, I, mean, I could never do like a back handspring, but that's not really like the same type of deal. Yeah, that's not. But uh, I feel like every girl in the world could, or like a back bend. Mm. Do you ever eat sloppy joes? No. I yep. don't, but I will. Right? They're yeah. so goddamn good. Why not? They have a sp they have a very particular flavor to them. Is man is manwich a sloppy joe? Oh, yes. I thought so. I thought, I thought that so was too. Like the original. I don't think it's the original. Oh, I think like oh. sloppy joe comes from like a. What like a McCormick's pack or some shit? You put like your own stuff uh, in there. Not a can. And the can thing, I think, is a shortcut. Huh. Could have been fooled. But those fucking sloppy joes at school were the best. This sloppy joe scene just made I me want to. I didn't not joes. eat it at school. Correct. Yeah. I think those were one of the days you you could tolerate the food for sure. I liked all of it. Like I, I we were talking about it today. I'm like, did y'all have tacos? Like tacos are good. Like well, I hated they had the fish chicken stick. fried the steak. Fish stick I oh, skipped. the chicken fried steak was amazing. It was Jared amazing. Jared and the like, rectangle pizza. Rectangle, the rectangle pizza. Rectangle was so pizza good. always. So there's the a couple, breakfast pizza was good. There, see, I, we didn't have that. But yeah. the, we have. There's a thing. If you go to that corner store place, any of the corner stores. They have this chicken sandwich, it's 99 cents, and it's like you just fucking walked into your school and got the chicken sandwich from school. I, it tastes exactly the same, and it is wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> it's it, There's nothing in it that's nutritious at all. But uh, Yeah, Jarrett and Everett will have, like, boys' day, and that's never Jarrett makes sloppy joes. 
That's true. Yeah. So I'll make sloppy joes, and then like, and and, and even he's like a little suspect about it. You know. <laughs> well, like, he should be. Yeah. It's healthy. But what? It's healthy to be suspect about it. There's nothing wrong with sloppy joes. Well, it's just like a little. It's like a barbecuey sort of like loose meat thing or whatever. You know. The last time I did it, though, I, I couldn't – again, the kids, like, sort of bail, like, halfway through it, so I just had a bunch of, like, extra Sloppy Joe stuff. And, mm-hmm. and so I made Sloppy Joe salad the next day. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking delicious. Like a taco salad. That's like yeah. the chili – it's like the chili salad. That's like 1,500 calories, but it's a salad. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Not like yeah. that. You call it a salad. <laughs> no. It's healthy. A, a taco salad, if you just do lettuce and dump taco meat on it and salsa, is not that bad. <laughs> No, it's not. The quesar fucking dia salad at Chili's is the worst thing on the menu. It's because of the tortilla. That's all. Yeah, maybe. It's the tortilla is well, that and thousand calories in it. About itself. fucking two scoops of cheese. Yeah. Which is what makes the whole thing delicious. Yeah. Oh, I'm hungry. I know, right? I want, I want, <laughs> dude, let's make sloppy Joe quesadillas. <laughs> I'll yeah. do that for your birthday. Okay. Thank you, baby. Where'd you get that? <laughs> oh, I have a subscription. Gee, a bad guy. He threw one opponent out of the ring and hit a bunch of senior citizens. Boy, this wacko looks familiar. (laughs) What do I care about some stupid, phony wrestling guy? My God. In June 1983, he sat on some guy's head and killed him. It was just a stunt! He was supposed to pinch my leg if he was running short of air! This guy's sitting on everyone's head and everything. I wonder how he had time to get his teaching degree. No! No, you can't do that to me. Those kids are my whole life. So you wouldn't want anything to happen that would make them think less of you, right? No. Max? Max? You ready to cooperate with me? No. Madison Hotels is as good as mine. Why did he lose control of his facial features? I think he had a stroke. He, he, just, he just got right all there. strokey. Yep, got I mean, it was a, a party. Strokey. Like, was he just really drunk? <laughs> Were they drinking at this party? By the way, let's go back to the first I, of the movie. Well, they had buckets of beer. Let's go the, back to the first the of the movie, though, where they, where they. Uh, by the way, Norm McDonald looks like he's 48 in that scene, <laughs> like hanging out with 27 yeah. year old. Like, yeah. uh, well, it's basically like me and Casey. Yeah. Um, but uh, let's go back to the first scene where where they're like, like what? How fucked up he is after five daiquiris? It's like. How many daiquiris do you have? Like, I mean, like you're see, you're seeing an invisible fucking penguin. Well, that was just just the daiquiri part of the equation. He also had beers as well. Oh, yeah. and the and the sun. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him that and uh, move on now. Uh, I'm gonna be honest about something. I, this movie, obviously, 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he did come in outdated. Right now, you pull up. With a Trans Am and an Ario Speedwagon shirt, That's you're hip not, as fuck right now. It was only ten years. Like, yeah, I mean, you are hip as shit right now. Well, this, I mean, this movie was twenty years ago. I don't think at any point there hasn't been a dude that looked like that in high school. Even when I went to high school, there's always one dude, and nobody really gave a shit. Like with the yeah. denim jacket and the band shirt. Like I tell you what, if I pulled up, blaring that same song. Yeah, the music was douchey. with that. No, you didn't hang, like the. Let Billy me Squire? finish my sentence first. Okay. With that blaring that same song, with that car, wearing those clothes, people would have thought I was a badass. For sure. In my high school. Yeah. Absolutely. That's the, but that's the would point. They have, okay, would they have thought you were a badass seven years later? It, not if I'm not supposed to be there. Right. Okay, because we so, had plenty of GIs that pulled up in our high school parking lot that we, we kind of <laughs> shooed away quickly. But listen, if, he, if he hadn't been blaring the music loudly and he had just shown up in that car wearing those clothes, nobody would have given a shit. No. Yeah, I thought that they, you know, but again, I think maybe if you go back to that and you think about it being 1995, Nirvana has literally just killed every other kind of music in the world. RDO Speedwagon is probably the least cool band that's ever lived at that point, and they don't give a shit because they've made all the money. <laughs> and you're driving up in the Smokey and the Bandit car. You know, again, only 20 years later. Now it seems like a lifetime ago. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe it was the Billy Squire. Holy shit, that poor guy. What a fucking downfall I he had. I don't know, that song is pretty badass. It's a pretty badass song. All he did, though, was put on pink in one fucking video. <laughs> and it was, that was it. End of career. <laughs> poor guy. If that guy did that now, yep. 
He'd be the biggest yeah. rock sensation of yeah. all time. He'd have a trillion Twitter followers. Well, unfortunately, timing is Who's a the current biggest bitch rock sensation of all time. Like currently, current biggest rock. He said if he did that now. Like who's doing something like that now? That's Adam like... Lambert. You think? Well, you're only Still? going. You're only going with the feminine <laughs> shit. No, just, or whatever. He's singing for Queen. Yeah, he's, on, he's with Queen. Man, he's so good too. Yeah. Holy shit! We, we, really yeah, we were watching good. videos the other day. Me and Casey were listening to some stuff the other day, and it was just he. It, we did listen to the thing where he um, he does the duet with real Freddie Mercury from back in the day. Oh, uh. and you know he he does his own thing, but he doesn't take a lot of liberties because he's shown his respect. And Casey right. said that he like comes out and says, "Hey, I'm not here to replace him. I'm here so that you guys can see these songs and these guys can right. perform them." Yada yada, but man, that yeah, like he doesn't do like an impression or impersonation, no. which I think he's capable of. Yeah, but he doesn't do. God damn, he's good though. Man, it sounded cool. It really did. He has a great voice, absolutely. Yeah, it really does. His I voice. was he was my pick throughout the whole yeah, that me, season. Me and my dad watched that whole season. Mm -hmm. That's who we're rooting for. I wasn't on that one, but uh, I mean, I didn't watch that one. I've never been on that show. I didn't need to. I wrote hits. <laughs> uh, chlorophyll, more like borophyll. Nobody's ever said that. No. Nope. Oh, all the Amy's time. a scientist for yeah. Christ's sake. I used to teach, well, sub, or what's it called? Student teach a high school class, and I used to always just interject these things. I even yeah. used Schwann. Yeah, Which stop looking at me, Schwann. Schwann. Teach about Schwann cells. Yeah. You just have to beat them to the punch. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But yeah, Borophil. It came up all the time. I think, like, <laughs> and especially, I think that, that, that teaching has changed, obviously, since yeah. we were kids. Because. Like, Emma's teachers will, like, steal her phone and do Snapchat photos of themselves and shit. Like, yeah. it's very, very different. And I think they're... That explains a few things. They're happy having their attention for whatever it is, the amount of time that they have it. Yep, you gotta capitalize and on it. And then they, you know, they understand... I mean, look, these kids are fucking... They're, they're just constantly... It, everything is just going at a, a thousand miles an hour all the time oh, and yeah. you know they make them do their work and you know i mean you can get bad grades but you can you know but they you don't get in trouble for the shit you used to well you can't anymore yeah you have to go through a chain of events to get just a detention just to go even, to the office you got to get in trouble three fucking times and that was six years ago if you give it attention now the parent will yell because it takes time out of their day yep they have to yeah. change their schedule, come pick them up later. It's, it's a big so thing. fucked they up. They don't even care what the, the kid did wrong. Right. Yeah. Not it's me. It's different. I'd go off on that. It's not how I was. No. Not how you were what? When you were teaching? When I was a, a parent of a <laughs> kid in school. No, I mean, Jack got breakfast club several times. Uh, yeah. And, you know, hey, well, here's what the It was deal. like morning you, detention. Yeah, you got to be there early. I don't give a fuck. I got to take your sister early anyway, so... There you go. You know, you got to stay after school. That's fine. I can return a few more emails. I would always go in there at the parent-teacher conference, and, and Shannon would come. You know, we were divorced at the time. <coughs> but Wait, Shannon would come. Hold and on. You're still divorced. I'm just saying we oh, were okay. already divorced at got the it. time. Got it. Got it. And uh, she would come, and she'd sort of be prepping me like, well, they should be doing – I'm because she's a teacher. She was like, they should be doing this for him. They should be doing this for him. He's special needs, blah, 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 so he sh they should be able to do this, this, and this, and uh, special needs because he's ADHD, um, which I didn't really accept as special needs, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't want him to have any special favors because he had ADHD. Right. Because I didn't want him to feel like he had a crutch for the rest of his life. You didn't want those accommodations in place. No, I, I mean, I... It, but did you feel like there should have been some sort of accommodations th for there, him There's accommodations be... that I think could be helpful, and then there's accommodations that are just excuse-making. There's accommodations versus exception. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, um, we would go in, and she'd be thinking we're going to go in and just bitch out this teacher for not doing her job and stuff. And so they'd lay out their case, and I would, and I'd turn to Christian, and I would say, "Look, you're gonna have terrible bosses. You're gonna have all these people that don't give a crap about you. It doesn't matter if she's the best teacher in the world or the worst teacher in the world. You've got to do what you've got to do to make sure that you get a good grade." And sure. Then, and did he? No. Exactly, because he has ADHD. Well, okay. And sometimes okay. that makes things harder. <laughs> well, okay. So okay, then he just won't do well. In life, because he has ADHD, we should all just—I'm just saying—we should just throw but, our hands up like in the air. Let me ask: 
what grade was he in when you had that that meeting? That specific this meeting. This was high was school. In, okay, but what grade? Oh, um, was it like ex exit? His it had to have been ninth, senior year? ninth or tenth. Okay, I get that. But twelfth grade rolls around, and I get your argument. You're not going to have a boss that says, "Okay, well, let me see your accommodation sheet." Right. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. No, but helping him learn like different like learning tools for the and way that he learns that's is a totally different of high thing. School. Right. So ninth, tenth. I don't grade. have a problem with that. Right. I mean, I didn't, I, it, it, that's not the that's thing, though. That's an accommodation in my head. I just didn't want him in the classroom with us bitching out the teacher saying it's all her fault no, that's that he wasn't getting all his stuff. No, uh, stuff I don't in. agree with that. Well, I can have a private conversation with her going, hey, what? why aren't you doing all the stuff to help him to, uh, be successful? But I didn't want to ever hear let him hear no, us I get that. saying it's not your fault that you're not getting your stuff done. No, that's, I, that's, totally, I totally agree with that. Kids are so smart, and they know that they have – all the power right like, well oh i have this right and not that it's a bad thing and you can accommodate for it to a point right like to a degree right no i think we're all on the same page actually yeah, yeah. Yeah, do. yeah it's just uh, again that happens in this room sometimes because we all communicate a little bit differently he's not saying that he doesn't want them to do anything for his well, kid that well then afterwards ADHD. he said well he's in the room and we're talking to this teacher and right I'm like, that's completely different that, i didn't even hear that part that he was in right. the room yeah. at first exactly. that was you guys talking to the teacher about what You're, you can do to help him him hearing his mom learning. say that he's special needs in front of the teacher giving him every excuse to not do no what i wasn't even acknowledging yeah. that he would have even been sitting there right. i thought it was all discussion totally with the teacher i agree so yeah same page now you understand how hard, difficult it is to text this. <laughs> oh, I, don't I literally that. said, I pointed at him and said, "You are going to have." So I mean, it was obvious. But I, if you missed it, totally fine. But don't don't give him any excuses. <laughs> <laughs> Stay as long as you can. <laughs> Cherish it. Hike school. <laughs> Hike school. Yeah. <laughs> Who's this? Um, this is uh, Billy Madison. You probably don't remember me, but I, I went to high school with you. Um, I, I kind of gave you a hard time back then, and I did some things that I thought were funny at the time, but now I realize they were just mean and, and stupid, and I uh, just wanted to apologize, and I hope you forgive me. Yeah, sure. Don't worry about it. It's no problem. Wow, well, that's great. Um, well, I am sorry, and uh, maybe we can get together sometime and, uh, and have some coffee or something. Sure, I'd like that. Okay, well, uh, I'll see you around. Bye. You can't see it on the video, but it says people to kill or whatever. Yeah, it's so amazing. <laughs> and those are all crew members of the movie. Were, was it? Uh, oh, I was that's amazing. I was wondering if the names meant anything. Yeah, I was that. looking for like people characters or i thought it might be friends of his or whatever yeah. now that's that's even better because it's just you know those dudes have to look at that shit all day every day yep. <laughs> and i love that it just squeaks all the way 100 percent. <laughs> right. i've done this actually i've um murdered someone for no i'm just <laughs> no no i've caught i've like it was on facebook i think i was like hey you know i if i was an asshole to you in high school i'm so sorry i just you know and then they were like no it's totally fine but then after watching this movie i'm thinking Maybe it wasn't totally fine, dude. I'm gonna yeah, get, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. There are definitely people who were dicks to me in high school. Yeah, you're gonna that, that, that no that they uh, try to friend me on Facebook, and we have 180 fucking friends in common, and I'm like, fuck you, ass fucker. <laughs> I've definitely you know? done like, that too. Yeah, yeah, that is not no. I'm I'm not I'm not holding a grudge. I just fucking still hate you. Maybe if I'm still. You, holding if you a grudge, played varsity know. football in high school, it's pretty much guaranteed. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Uh, accept your friend request. Not, yeah. I had boys from high school that used to like, I mean, I say like make fun of, like they were fucking assholes to me yeah. who would like try to like ask me out in my 20s. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. And I just remember just being like, I do Fuck think you. That, that people do think that, that like, I get all that things grow, are forgotten or whatever. Yeah, they think like, oh, isn't it cute that we used to? I'm like, yeah, no, you were exactly. a fucking horrible person. Like, yeah. I didn't like take a lot to heart, but I'm not going to like, no, I'm not going to think that's cute. Yeah, like, there's, that's a, there's definitely a couple. Of them, you know, like the I've written songs about one of them in particular who's like tried to friend me on Facebook, and I'm just like, are you fucking serious? Like, what? That's <laughs> weird. I mean, I realize we're in our forties, you know, but uh, 
go fuck yourself. Um, and then, uh, okay, so then they show up at Veronica Vaughn's door, and we think, hey, babe, we're going on a date. And uh, then we, the fucking, my favorite thing ever to say ever is, oh, I see what's going on here. And uh, that's the penguin back on the stairs. You know what? I got an idea for you. Instead of being an idiot every day, why don't you go back to school, graduate, and get the company? Because I don't want it anymore. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean you don't want it anymore? Do I got something coming out of my nose? You know what? I can't believe I ever liked someone who could just roll over and die like this. I ain't rolling over and dying. I was set up. And worst of all, nobody believes me. I believe you, Billy. And I believe in you. You know, some people have no willpower, no brains, no vision. They just drift through life like lumps of crap. What is she talking about? <laughs> and you have all those things. You're just afraid to use them. Don't be. You say you're not a loser, Billy Madison. So when? I just can't believe what? that you didn't leave that in. Mm -hmm. It is 100% my gr my favorite musical, like, what do you call it? Mu not a, It's not a montage. Interlude? I don't it's know. just so fucking good. So just, she, like, wants the company, right? Like, that has to be what's happening. I think she wants to run the company for sure, yeah. We Guys, need this. Let's let's stop. Maybe it was just maybe she maybe all she wanted was those milks. You yeah. know, the she wanted milk? some of that milk. She wanted to share milk. it. Those milks were not warm. Don't buy into his bullshit. <laughs> those know. milks just got there. We have children that drink that milk. I think they were. I think it was safe zone milk. Yeah. Okay. Are our kids even allowed to drink milk anymore? <laughs> <laughs> right. It won't be long until that'll Bread be. And they'll be just little. Nope. Gluten. Nope. Yep. Damn it. Yeah. No, they can't do that. In um in England they can't bring anything that has peanuts in it. I don't think we can that, do that. Yeah, no, that's that's here. most schools now too yeah, now. Nowhere oh. here. There's signs to like nut free zone in front of every school. There's a few things about life that I, I, I get that things change and I, it maybe it maybe this is part of evolution. Uh maybe this is part of that epi epidemic we need to clear out some of the rigmarole or whatever, but I did not know one fucking kid that was allergic to peanuts when I was a kid. Not Me either. One. Not one. Not one. Maybe fucking they were homeschooled kid. where they should be. Well. You better be careful because Peter Rabbit made an insensitive food allergy joke. People were outraged. That's true. Also, why isn't there white dog poop anymore? Because <laughs> it of might calcium. be like different. What? I don't know. We we figured out why it was. There was some. It was something like. That we don't have anymore. Okay, but here's the thing: the ozone layer, something like that. All right. some Probably weird thing. Ozone. Okay, so just blame it on the ozone. Yeah, there's a few things though. Also, I still call it suntan lotion, but now it's sunblock. Because you're not supposed to be tanning. We used to want right. the sun to cook us, and then Kramer cooks himself on Seinfeld, and they fucking change it all. I also got in trouble for asking a kid to sit um, Indian style. At a photo Chris session. Cross applesauce. Shit. It is crisscross Did someone call you out? Oh, yeah. They were pissed. Do you know what fucking Indians or what crisscross applesauce is? It's you you know. go crisscross applesauce. You do an X on somebody's back and then knee them in the butt as hard as you no, can. No, crisscross applesauce. Pockets that. on the floor. No, that's no, stupid. Never heard of that shit. No one sat like that, that, that until we saw Indians sitting like that. <laughs> Why are we stealing their credit? Yep. God, they it was. Say it. All... They say it in karate. Yeah, they do now. What? Crisscross karate sauce. Well, it did. It was always Indian style, you know. And you know yeah. what? Hey, and here's the thing: for 45 years of my life, I I I gave that to people. I I was accepting of it. <laughs> I told people, you know what? And say, now, I, I, well, I used well, to say, I used to say You're to white. them, I used to say, you know what? You can say Indian style if you want, because I am Native American and I approve this message. <laughs> and then Twenty Three and Me came and made me the whitest person that's ever lived. <laughs> and now I know why I can't rap. You and Elizabeth Warren are not. I don't even know Indians. who the fuck that is. Oh, well, okay. now that I'm Native American, I'm offended. Yeah, of yep. course you are. You should be. You're abuelo. Are you American? Abuelo. Wait, you're, you're a grandpa. Wait, that means grandpa. I yeah, keep telling grandpa? him. I yeah. keep telling him because it says I'm like, I'm like, 
thirteen percent Spanish and thirteen percent Native American, like from Mexico. I'm like, maybe I'm like an Aztec. He's like, you're placing them lame like an abuelo. I'm like a grandpa. He meant Pueblo. <laughs> I meant Pueblo. I yeah, <laughs> I fucked that up. Or Obviously. Mine. Obviously, I was never taught the terminology. I didn't take the class because so yeah, I'm so not a fucking real Indian. So he came back 100% white boy, and I came American. back. Mm. No, I'm not Native American. Like I, now, I can't explain what. Now I look like a fucking. I, I, You're I just don't a retard. Naked mole. Rat. I don't oh, understand. We can't say that either. I can't. You can if you say retard. Oh, you can? <laughs> yeah, apparently you can. I haven't thought. All you got to do is just do it in Borat. Just, I haven't thought, and then and you're fine. Like, that's fine. You haven't thought. Yeah. <laughs> and then, he, yeah, he haven't thought. Are then, we ever going to do Borat? That'd be a difficult oh, one. Man. But no, it would not. I would 100% love to do Borat. I was rolling laughing in that movie. But let's no. not do time. Bruno. But honestly, I think uh, if I we do Borat, Borat, I, I, think sure. we sh- I think we should change format, not try to, like, argue every scene, and, like, try to do, like, 30 clips and just like talk about how hilarious every fucking scene is. So just so watch Borat's the movie. So Borat's gonna be like a two-parter. <laughs> okay, that's not the best idea that I've ever had. <laughs> I don't know. Like I don't have to fucking talk about my day. My de- me at the first of the show, I talked for thirty minutes about nothing because that's okay. what I like to do. So and, you're okay. You used to say that was the best part of the show. Now you don't want to do that. It part is of the, the show? best part okay. of the show. Okay. What do but you think the best Borat, part of the show you is? Just jump right in. I think all the funny parts are the best parts of the show. Somebody yeah, else said there's right. no more Indian givers either. Can't yeah. be Indian. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> is that Katie Morgan? No. Damn it! I uh, thought I thought Tom I knew that was good. That is a good. That is a good point. Good point. No more Indian givers. Yeah. You can't do it no anymore. Man, that's some deep shit too, man. That yeah, is, I'm like, I'm like really actually breaking that down in my head. I right know now. that like, is some wait a deep second. racist sh- fucking shit. You Ugh. can't. Yeah, there's no no. We can't say that anymore. Yeah, <laughs> all right. I, I mean, I can. With that one. Yeah, I can say for, it all day long. Thanks for bringing. I'm just in my house by myself. No, wait. For, I take it back. No, we can do that. <laughs> so, uh, the clown came back, and were you happy about that? You know. I bet oh, you thought yeah. that I was dead. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, you know, you, you I, it's that. not that I was happy about it. I, I, it, I it wasn't that uh, I wasn't disturbed by the fact that I thought he was dead. It was right. just that he was. It was the noise and the blood came out of his mouth. <laughs> the, the gurgle. No, it was just that they were. It, you know, it was just an obvious kind of like. I don't know. It was very Adam Sandler esque. How about the challenge where he's like, "Me and you, mano e mano." It's like I don't know what that means. Carl, do you know what that he means? He would totally like, know what that means. I know, but the point is, is that that's fucking funny. Okay. Like, can you translate mano y mano? Like, if they were two friends and he said it, that I would got be it. hilarious. One on one. I got it. I fucking did it. Oh, you mono, did it? Mano, one side. Like, hand in hand. Is that a mano? Like a hand? Yeah. Mono is also in, uh, in st- like, a mono is one side. Yeah, but I think it's spelled like one. I got mono hand. in seventh hand grade. Hand to hand? Like, oh, it's the worst. You're so tired. Hand, hand, and hand. So they have to hold hands? Hand to hand. Hand, hand, hand. to hand. Combat. Right, hand to hand well, combat. If it's, if it's E, if it's just and, Y, yeah. that's hand and hand. And. And. It's, how do you spell that? I was going to text that the other well, day. And. And. <laughs> I don't know All how to spell in it. In English or in Spanish? No, no in, in Spanish, Jarrett. it's I. Oh. No, in, in English. A I I I I N D. In Jarrett, it's in, and. And. Uh, so what, another thing that I that I say all the time is is he goes, uh, you really think you can beat him? He goes, oh, I can, and I will. My, one of my fucking favorite things to say ever. Here's the thing. Whenever I point out all the my favorite things to say, Casey goes, I don't really know that you ever say that, actually. And, uh, <laughs> and I really do. I say it. I say it all the time. I just don't know if all the time is the right terminology thing. also let me ask you he this. says it all the time on the bus i feel like if you said all the things if that you say that you say all the time all the time you wouldn't say anything else right well it's pretty much like how it is let me ask you guys this how does o'doyle get all of that horse shit in that locker without it falling out on him while he's putting it in there um they have a they have a mechanism saran wrap they've been i was thinking that too and then yeah. you rip it out you after just cut you... it from the bottom and then you pull all the way up. No, you just poke a little through the vent and you I close it, saying. and then you just... rip it out of the vent. Yeah. I don't know. Huh. It can be done. I see what you're saying. I like your method. Yeah, I would say you would like saran wrap cut... it, fill it up, and then no, no, the no, locker, I... and then pull it out. Pull it no, out the side. You have a sure. you have a a panel that's the same size as the door. Yeah. And you push it in there, throw everything 
in there so you've got the panel and then close the door and then rip it out yeah that's never gonna work no, you're, you're just gonna get a tablecloth you you're gonna 100 percent get shit on the floor it's true can't do that all right well let's... they cleaned that part up norman invasion of england 1066 that is correct magna carta 1912 Spanish Armada 14 16 46 47 14 69 15 14 1981 1986 please do not do that come on i swear just hang in there one second please god give me the answer 1987 that's fucking funny you have to have laughed at that also how can you not think that girl is hot during this scene okay so here's my thing if you're actually talk into the mic <laughs> if you're that nope a, re a retard uh, a retard yeah if you're that if you act that way do you even know what to do with her? <laughs> exactly. Like, think about it. Like, like wh is, when's the last girl you've been with if yeah, you well, act like this? Let me, let me, like, is he one of those guys who's like, oh, I talk a big game, but then like, uh... uh I think I can answer that. His dad has 61,000 employees. <laughs> and he hasn't, <laughs> there he hasn't done shit for 10 fucking years. He basically years. gets blowjobs The constantly. guy literally knows what Girls to do. pay him to give him blowjobs Yeah, jobs exactly. Yeah, it's like, hey, just in bucks. case. <laughs> yeah. Here's my thing. I might be the it's like a lottery ticket. I might be the one. Yeah, you yeah. never know. Are we implying they haven't done anything yet? Like, I feel like the excitement seems like it's like first time to see your boobs. Like, no. It, well, this they've is, done this it. This is but a she's... teaching method. This is a common teach. I've actually heard of this teaching method. Right. It's called common whore. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been sitting on that? I was waiting a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's post warm milk. Oh. They <laughs> for sure. <laughs> they for sure did it. The time where she goes, well, you have your teacher in your tents. Yeah, then the guy showed up there. What are you going to do with... Oh, hey, Carl, good to see you. <laughs> that was good. I liked that one. All right, so they... Common whore. They compete in... Uh, Ramming in, in there. In math. <laughs> and uh, I like Billy Madison's... Uh, I like his approach to this one. No way I'm going to get that one, so I'll just write that he drinks his own pee. <laughs> I, I could see myself doing that. Yeah, in the pool. Yeah. No, not drinking my own pee. Well, I mean, it's, water gets in your mouth. What yeah, are you going to do? Splashes no, in not there. in mine. I'm, fucking, I, I'm holding my head, my beer, and my hands above the water at all times. That is true. The pee stays in the water. I don't put so my face in the water. So then when you go and water, splash around, never? That's for my children to do. Oh, and okay. Amy's children to do. Got yeah. it. They drink his pee. They yes. drink my pee. They and all of our pee, it. to be honest. Let's, let's, yeah. Actually, at their house, sometimes I will go over on the side and pee. Uh, and, and, and I've been never seen to, it. I've been known to get out of the thing and pee. I'll pee. I'll get out. And oh, pee so now the truth comes out. Um, No, he the doesn't. pee comes out in the pool. <laughs> pretty much all the time. Uh, <laughs> me and her husband uh, were at. Uh, so Ryan, the intern. By the way, uh, a little show update. Ryan, the intern, has now graduated. She's gone. Yeah. Uh, she's going to go to college. Uh, she's literally here Sunday. Right. So she does pop in and out, but only for the next like month or so. But oh. she's she's uh, she's moved on. She's she's waiting tables at our at the bar that we go to to do our trivia, and uh, she's doing really great. <laughs> she hasn't moved on that. According much. to them, she's Jared's niece. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's she's still on the teat, is what we're trying to say. But. Uh, Anyway, so you guys know I have a new assistant. Her name's Jaylena. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, so uh, why was I talking about this? Gary, uh, his pool. Oh, you and so, Derek in the pool. Yeah. Okay. So we went to um, Ryan had a graduation party, and it would we got there, and it was just it, they literally had forty adults uh, confirmed to go to this thing in this like just regular suburban house. It was packed, right? And everybody bought kids, brought kids. Some of them bought we kids. Did. We did buy kids. It was a weird transition on the you transaction go with on the two, way. You Were they in four. cages? And they, uh, kids with cages. No, they. Cages. Yeah. So anyway, so um, 
that we, we got there. I mean, we, I guess we got there at like one fifteen or whatever, and uh, just kids in the pool, kids in the pool, and like two o'clock. Derek's looking at me. He goes, "Are we going to get in there into that pool?" And I go, um, "We can get in there, but man, we've got to. Ha- we're going to have to wait this out. We're going to have to wait it out. We can't be like the only two adults in there." And man, we waited and we waited and we waited and we waited. It, it started to roll. It was like four fifteen. I go, dude. By, by it, it, in the next like ten minutes, this place is gonna fucking clear out. You watch, because everybody's gonna want to be home by like a certain time, or whatever. <laughs> and I was fucking spot on. Like all the kids out of the pool, everybody, uh, do, people start leaving and shit. And uh, me and Derek, only two adults in the pool the whole day. No, it's because Jared had to pee in the next. 10 I minutes. did have to pee and right he didn't then. Didn't want to go inside. He your said, friend was there. In. Yeah, your friend Jessica was there. What? Uh, is her name Jessica? The one? Oh, that, Jess. Yeah. Yeah. She uh, knows them. Or yeah. Whatever shit, yeah. So yep, she was yep, there. Yep. Um, Wait, this was Sunday. This was like last Sunday. Oh. Yeah. Over a week ago. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm trying to like piece everything together. Like we were here before you. No, were this here. last Sunday was soccer, uh, a shitload of podcasting. Uh, me and Casey to dinner, and then we went to bed. I went to bed at nine forty-five that night. Which night? Sunday. <laughs> the last podcast. Love you so much. Clip. Uh, oh, then they yeah. went. To, wait, hold on. Oh. They go to home ec. Of course, the <laughs> Billy Madison pulls out this perfect pie, and then I, you have to admit this was funny. Where he pulls it out and it's kind of burning or whatever, and he's just like over laughing at it. But then he's just on fire, and he's just still <laughs> laughing at it or whatever. Yeah, like that was ridiculously that, funny. It, but that's fucking funny. Yeah. And then, well, the, it was stupid because I when he pulled out the burning pie, I'm like, "Come on, dude!" Right? And really? You over, but you like had to toe fire. Pie. But you've got to take but it to it the next level. Then it back, and then he was like all on fire. You I, take I, it I to thought the that next was level. funny. I didn't laugh out loud, right. but I thought it was funny on the inside. But you would have typed "lol" because that's what you do. Yeah. Uh, the lowercase. Wait a fucking just a second. Uh-oh. You didn't Did you just pick up it? on that. No, I didn't. So, LOL, you're... Lowercase, LOL is inner chuckle. You're not really even laughing. No, 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 no. But, hey, good job. Good, yeah. Like, all caps. Nice try. That's, that's... Right? That's LOL. All my statements get the lowercase LOL. Yeah. What is it when you actually go, ha, 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 That's I'm laughing out loud. You actually laughed out loud. So, you don't do the all Sean caps LOL? Sean sent me, LOL? since this podcast, a capital LOL exclamation point. And I know for a fact he wasn't laughing because we're sitting no. next to each other. That's a pre-response on my watch. But he's silent, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's silent See? laughing. Understood. Yeah, I'll occasionally I'll do the capital yeah, LOs, yeah, but I gone. usually if I'm laughing out loud for real, I'll do ha ha ha. Okay. And it's it's how long the ha ha ha's go. Oh, how many A's? is how ha- funny that was okay. to me. If yeah. it's if it's I don't think I ever do four because or, or two a ha ha is just L- lowercase like, lol. Uh, but ha 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 ha, that's like. <laughs> That's that. Okay. Oh my but like, God. ha 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 That's like, holy shit, that was fucking hilarious. So you're you're literally typing what you're doing. If I'm crying laughing, that's when I do capital L O M F D P or whatever. You know what I mean? The the laughing, laughing my, my fucking ass off, Jeff, rolling on the floor. You're so you're very descriptive of your right. laughter, of right. your duck fucks. Hmm. Right. Hmm. <laughs> He just ran. He put random letters at the end. I don't Do know. not fuck the ducks in this neighborhood. I love them and I don't want them to leave. <laughs> or Jesus the geese. Christ. Or the geese. That's fine. Clip. Stop looking at me, Swan. <laughs> Nip high football rules. <laughs> Mr. Madison. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Okay, a simple wrong would have done just fine, but then... You remain one point ahead. Mr. Gordon, it is your turn. Mr. Madison, choose the topic. I choose business ethics. 
this totally caught me off guard. I thought he was going to go the total, totally the other way with with his comment on his answer. Because at the beginning, it sounds like, oh, my God, he's totally going to tie this together yeah. with the puppy story. And it's going to make all this sense. And then he goes through the whole thing and they cut a bunch of it out and then get to the end. And then he says the whole dumber thing. I was like, oh, That's I thought it was, was funny. I, I thought it was the funniest thing in the movie. Actually, I didn't laugh out loud, but I thought it was the funniest bit. Now, had you not ever seen this movie before? Yeah, but it was like fucking 25 years ago. Right. Interesting. One time. Yeah. Uh, no, I. I. Fuck, we and we missed O'Doyle, the, the entire family going off the. the oh, that, that's right. Yeah, uh, I did. I thought I actually thought that was more in the movie. That was just such a side thing. O'Doyle rules. I thought that that was a big, huge part of the movie, and it no. wasn't hardly yeah, anything. They encountered the them like every few grades, and that, that's why you're, that's funny. I feel like your I whole mean, family's going down. Yeah, and you know, a banana pill that uh, gets slipped upon by a station wagon and then off a cliff. I just thought it was weird. I didn't think it was funny. But it was that it's that weird thing that he does where it's like, wouldn't this be funny if we don't make this funny? But it'll be funny because it's not funny. You know, it's know. that weird thing that he oh, does. Oh, Doyle rules is pretty funny and said like all the time by a lot of people. I mean, oh, Doyle rules I'm not is saying that it isn't. Oh, no, I wasn't trying to argue with you, honey pants. <laughs> Everybody relax. <laughs> oh, the other thing was, um, oh, shit. Shit, shit, I forgot. I'll go ahead and talk. I'll forget. Well, uh, Casey called bullshit on the music thing because it's like not everybody in high school has to do music. Music. This guy comes in like and he's fucking like wailing on the violin, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, that wouldn't be required high school. Not at all. Yeah. You know? like, I didn't think I did any music, anything. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, but I didn't either. I thought the acting thing was fucking. Kind of funny because the guy overacted. The like, shit. To be yeah. or not to be, and then like he just came in and did the "Whoa, come on, what do you mean?" And then he fucking won. You get all the shit. Full <laughs> costume. <laughs> God damn it! There was a part in the movie I totally forgot. I was going to talk about. Was it happened it... right before this? Well, um, that's your own fucking fault because yeah, we are sorry. at the end of this movie. Why wouldn't he know about business ethics, though? Because he's not an ethical Because he's person. not ethical, right. But if you rob banks, you still understand how to withdraw money legally. It's it, Of course he would know about business ethics. Yeah, it had flaming poop on there. Oh, like, yeah, that's right. You just kind of have to go with the movie. That's true. Good point. Yeah, I think you're just uh, maybe overthinking. Speech! Speech! <laughs> hey, stop calling Clip. That is my fucking job. <laughs> I don't. I haven't rung this bell once on you today. Yes. No, I haven't. Interrupted. No, we don't do that anymore. Oh, sorry. Anyways, um, this hotel stuff really isn't for me. So uh, I decided to uh, step down as chairman of Madison Hotels and give the company to Carl. All right. I'm going to go to college. I'm going to be a teacher. <laughs> I'm out of here! Daddy? <laughs> what can I say? I, I saved the day, I guess. I mean, Eric doesn't take over the company. Are you sure this is what you want to do? I'm sure, Dad, and thanks for everything. <laughs> I have a feeling that Eric actually ran that company. Why is Eric there? Yeah, he that's just what shot I think, up, too. He shot up the school. <laughs> Like, why is he at the graduation ceremony? Be because the furry. dad knows that Eric is what made that company a Fortune 500 company in the first place. But Carl uh, was going to be the one at first. And he goes like, well, I'll just like help him run it for a while. Right. Clearly, he's been doing a lot of it. Right. Yeah. yeah. But he was going to let him run it for a while. I think the dad's That's not dick. good decision making. Now, I think that uh, it doesn't matter anyway, because if you're comparing any of this movie to real life, to real life. <laughs> <laughs> the gun in the school pretty much takes Eric out of the equation altogether. That's yeah, true. Yeah, he's, he's in jail. Right. So, and that's pretty much the end of that story for him. <laughs> so, Carl would seem to be the obvious choice, right? Or Frank with the shirt. Who yes. Knows? Uh, hey, guys, this has been fun. I'm so glad you ladies uh, skipped the fireworks, came to hang out with us. Uh, thank you to uh, <laughs> Frontier Electricity for the fucking amazing night. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for sharing the podcast. I, no idea whether you have or not, because that's what Rich does, is keeps up with that. But hopefully he will be back on Facebook by the next podcast. 
So we will list everyone again. Then uh, we haven't had any mail. Hey, write us some emails. It's just Jarrett goes the movies at gmail.com. And uh, actually, we haven't heard that in a while. Let's check the email box. Email us at Jarrett goes to the movies at gmail.com. Uh, the email box is empty. So <laughs> uh, send us some shit. Get up on our Facebook pages and all of that. Uh, guys, I'm going to miss you. Uh, I gotta go on tour. I'm gonna be away for a little bit. We'll be back uh, in a couple. We're only gonna miss like one week, though, right? We're gonna, yeah. It's gonna be. We're gonna skip a week. Okay. But you and I are not gonna see each other for three weeks. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. So you're gonna miss me by the time I get back. Yeah, I will. Are you gonna still be texting when I get home? You think, or uh, mm. we'll see what happens. All right. One can dream. Let me take that again. One can dream. Um. <laughs> Hey, I'm going to miss doing this, but I'll be fired up and ready to go when we get back. And hopefully some uh, new and exciting things for you guys that are listening. Uh, thank you, Rich. Thank you, baby. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Silent Sean, for everything tonight. We all worked really hard, and uh, we, we fucking did it. We made it. Zaldor day. is going to see you in Detroit. Oh, ooh. who? Zaldor. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We'll see you guys soon. Uh, I don't know. It sounds like a cool job Shut to me. Shut the fuck up, Tim. <laughs>